<laughs> this ought to be a cinch. This will sell out in no time. <laughs> Plenty of suckers around here. And yeah, but these knives are really chintzy. Ah. Yeah. My apologies for taking up your precious time. My name's Yurita, and I... Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I caught you at a bad time? Huh? Oh, you mean this? No, no. I've just been carving something up. I'm a damn professional. I ain't gonna shit my pants that easily. Yeah, actually, sir, uh, I'd like to introduce you to my company's fine products. Huh? Blades, huh? Blades! Yeah. You gonna show me the goods then? Huh? Each and every one of these knives were given delicate finishing touches by skilled craftsmen and can easily slice through anything. Wow, this guy's got style. By the way, I heard there's a scam going down around here. Folks getting ripped off, being sold crap at jacked up prices. Mind if I try this? Okay, sure. Hamburger's steak plate. This hamburger is nothing fancy, but it melts in the mouth because of the fish paste he added. It goes perfectly with the lightly salted ketchup rice and the simple side dishes. This reminds me of my hometown. Even doing stopping to have a meal. I, I guess this goes way beyond the knives. Mm -hmm. Oh, but this guy scares the shit out of me. Yeah, I gotta go. Get lost. Oh, this turf fucking belongs to Kanemi Group, too. Damn it. Since the boss disappeared, I'm out in the cold. Where the heck have you gone, Tatsu? Seriously? Oh, a head of cabbage for just a hundred yen? Hell yeah! Boss! I'll take the whole shipment! You sure know how to rob a guy, huh? Sorry? Boss! Uh... What? Boss? Where the hell have you been all this time? I've been looking for you all over! It was total chaos after you bailed on us like that! Some of us got busted, so the Shinsaki group disbanded, and anyone left went their own way. Uh, why the hell'd you quit the Yakuza? Let's, uh, take a walk. Okay, everyone. Today we are going to be making some cheese croquettes. To start, we have to peel the potatoes. Immortal dragon! Are you an old lady now frying fucking croquettes and making ooh sounds? Masa, I'm done with all that. I'm a house husband now. I'm just protecting my turf in my own special way. You can't protect what's sacred to you through violence. <laughs> you can't protect what's sacred to you through violence, my ass! What have you got, soft? The target has been identified. I've confirmed the time and route. Now I've just gotta do it. You say you've seen the immortal dragon? Not me. The guy I know. Man, a lot of people out there still want to see him dead. Since that bastard's still alive. Who knows what'll... Oh, hey. You're Kanemi, isn't that right? The Immortal Dragon! Oh, shit. I don't have time to mess around here. Oi, get back here! What was that, an attempted hit? Kill him! Crap, that place is gonna be packed! Go head him off! There, I've got him cornered! Get on that side! Huh? Hey, you, hold on to this! Ah! And you, hold these! Ah. 
fucking idiot standing there like a pair of mannequins. Just a sweatshirt, one pair of socks, and one pair of gloves. I didn't get nothing I was after. You ain't little kids running errands for mom! Ah! He's really pissed off. Sales are a battlefield. Being a house husband ain't no joke. House husband? You liar! You're not a house husband! Glo a pair of gloves? Winter comes, and it's getting cold out. If only we had more money. I'd buy you a better pair. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Now don't catch a chill. <laughs> Boss, you okay? My wife's a designer, a hard-working career woman. And, as you can see, I'm a house husband. My sister is crazy? What the hell is this? A Yakuza? Oh. Keep your mouth shut, no contact. Uh. Have you got a Blu-ray box set of Crime Catch Polycure? Oh. Poly... Yes, certainly, sir, and we have Paul and stuff. By the way, which season of Polycur would you like, and which version of the Blu-ray box set? Because there are three versions of the Blu-ray box set, which is an easy mistake to make. And in my personal opinion, I would recommend the second season and the second version of the Blu-ray season also worked on the highly acclaimed theatrical version. Oh, and by the way, and this is just a bit of geeky information, but the director of Polycure tried taking a boys' manga approach for the whole series, and that really made the series worth watching. It's highly innovative. Here's the money. Just bring me the goods, Prato. I have my own bag. And can I have a points card? And now? <sighs> I'm worn out. Huh? Oh, you startled me. Hey, wh what? What are you doing? Come in. What is up? What the hell's all this? <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Miku. Happy birthday to you. That face. What's all this about? And this is my offering to you. Oh, a, a present for me? What is it? No way, this is Polycure. You really went out and bought this for me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, um, I love this one. Got this one. Got this one. I must pay! <laughs> I gotta step out and go grocery shopping. Guard the house for me, will ya? Do you eat grasshoppers? Hey, why don't you come down here? That would be impossible. Come play with me. Huh, you're right. Jeez, sorry. This house is huge. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, what happened to you? None of your business. Leave me alone, will ya? Oh, you're a girl. Are you sure you're okay? What'd you do? I don't know. For some reason, I can't move. Last thing I knew, I was happily chasing a butterfly. A butterfly? Well, look, your leash is all tangled up around the house. Oh, go back that way. And around here. Oh my. Don't oh my me. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> hey! All right. Well then, I guess I'll head back home. No, no! You can't leave me like this! Yeah? Hello? What? The big boss is coming. What time? <sighs> the 
before the boss arrives. I got a big job for you. Everyone thinks you're the man, but... You still gotta prove yourself to me. Think you can handle it? Do ya? Nice. Right, I'm putting you in charge of this turf, okay? Hey, you gotta attack the corners! That's where all the scum hangs out, so hit it! Don't be a goddamn coward! For spots like this, you gotta use some kind of stick with a cloth wrapped around it. Gets into cracks and wires. Let's face it, you're just an amateur Miku god at that obligatory ceremony. Me, I'm a pro. Don't matter if it's blood, footprints, or fingerprints. Any evidence will be... Wiped out. Yeah. Enough! Get out of here! Their place is just around the corner here. You know, I've always wanted to meet him. Here it is. Oh, that's Tatsu's place! Tatsu, what happened? I'm sorry, boss lady. I let you down this time. What on earth? What happened to you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Some cocky young punk just joined my clan. Yeah, it's sudden. But this PTA job just came up, so would you mind watching Iriota for a little bit? Sure, no problem. Really? That'd be great. Behave yourself, okay, Ryota? But he's the scariest looking guy in the neighborhood! So then, Ryota, you wanna have some fun? Thank you for watching me. Huh? Oi, right, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't you want some sweets, little boy? These cookies are freshly baked. Did you make these yourself? <laughs> these are good! <sighs> Good thing I made some today. All right, how about we play a game? Really? You have games here? Ah, you like to play? Yeah, totally. I'm super awesome at Mario Kart and my... Not or even. Koi Koi. Pong. Snake Eyes. Dude, you can't play these with kids! Maybe he would have gotten along better with Miku. Whoa, check it out! It's Cobalt Police from Polish here! Wow! Huh? What is it? Have you been injured, Ryota? I'm so sorry! It just... This... This is Miku's precious polycure whatchamacallit. Live. Damn it! Stay with me! Blue polycure thing! Don't worry about it. I'm gonna take care of this. Everybody makes mistakes. What's important is how you set things straight afterwards. It's like my old boss always said. If you make a mistake, put it six feet under. You see? I see. What are you two up to? Huh? Hey, watch where you're going. Uh, I'm Googling right now. Hold your horses, would you? Hey, hey, dude, chill out. Almost got it. Shit, no signal. Uh, hey, just wait, will ya? Huh. Beginners tend to use too much force. The important thing is coming up with a plan of attack. Housewives, let's give this DIY project a try. DIY? <laughs> Got two over here! Oh, hey, Masa. <laughs> you morons! You're in for it now! Go kick the punk asses, boss man! <clears throat> oh! Pick this fight yourself, right? So then you finish it yourself, got it? Uh, you gotta do it yourself, you fool! Uh, do it? Oh. 
Is that what DIY means? That guy, he's the immortal dragon. Ah. Uh, the Tendo group told us to steer clear of him. I know. Let's split. You run away, useless punks! Talking to me? Talk to! Nothing quite like getting hit with a two by four. Shit's sturdy as hell. Perfect for making some chairs. You think you're hot shit? <gasps> Would you use a tool or a blade to cut wood? Report to first make sure that no one is in the way! Hey, boss! Ha! You got off easy, bastards! Ah, oh, jeez. This is... a house husband? Uh, hard to tell who's the Yakuza here. Uh, could Yakuza and house husband be two sides of the same coin? The way... I wanna learn! Boss! Please teach me your ways! What ways? DIY? <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> That's cute. The way of the house husband. Is my fist starting to sag? <laughs> Why are you hula hooping? Watch it! Ouch! Enough! You can either take it outside or check this place out. Hmm? Ah, so this is what you mean by fitness. We come here about once a week. Yeah. Right now, they're running a promotion and you can try out different classes for free. Classes? All right, everyone, here we go. Let's move in time to the music. Hmm? One, two, one, two. Everybody smile! Is that a smile? Come on, step it up! Feel that rhythm! Don't forget to smile now! Okay, now strike your final pose! <laughs> Scary smile. That's pretty really good in there, Tatsu. Wasn't he? Oh, I know what to do. One more class! It's great if you want to get fit. Good, hold that pose. And as you breathe out, slowly lower your legs down toward your head. Does this pose remind you of anything? Yeah, this is the getting walloped by the boss with the wooden sword pose. Uh, well, that's the plow pose? This is the getting your pinky cut off after really screwing up pose. This is the sitting in the driver's seat after the boss tells you to dump the body in the mountains pose. And this one's the taking a bullet square to the head pose. Okay, you can stop talking now. Well done, everyone! What do you know? I kind of like this yoga business. Oh, you do? <laughs> I ain't sweated buckets like this since the time I crashed a dump truck into another gang's office. Uh, you said he crashed at the office? My, he must have been having a good time. Yeah, it was way more fun than I thought it'd be. Tatsu, wait. These are the women's lockers. Oh, oh Tatsu. <laughs> what on earth? Tatsu, are you okay? Boss lady. Boss lady? I will face the consequences! Climb me up if you must and bury me in the mountain or dump me in the sea wearing cement shoes! Do it! Excuse me. I'm looking for some white powder. You know, the good stuff. We don't sell that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think he's actually looking for flour. My god, this grocery store is enormous. Huh? You've still got cola back at the house. No harm in stocking up. You drink too much of that crap. Aw, uh, come on! Uh-uh. 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 Uh, can I get anything I want? Peach fuzz sporting? <laughs> Wicked goon shades? Hey! I shouldn't buy a video game for a selfish brat like you! Hey, over there. My god, that's a Yakuza harassing an honest citizen. So scary. Oh no. Watch on, let's go. What? People are scared of me. Come on, that's nonsense. No, it isn't.
I get along fine with our neighbors. They like me and think I'm funny. Oh, yeah? Wait, are you accusing me? Sir, can I help you? <laughs> See? Maybe it's the way you dress. The way I dress? Well, it is a bit intimate to find some new clothes. Some new clothes, huh? They're all the same. Did you hear what I said? Yes, ma'am. You're my husband. Can't you at least try to be charming? Is this getting through to you? And I'm intimidating? I was called the immortal dragon and survived in the underworld for all those years. And now I gotta be charming. Huh. Ugh. That's it! Well, if I'm honest, compared to when we first met, he has improved a lot. You got a poly apron? Nice, right? Cute. Stay coming to catch you! Coming to... what was it? And you got to do the pose, too! Hey, Mama? Those people are really weird. What do you think you're doing? Huh? Oh, well, I'm just doing a poo. Oi! What did I just say? Can you cut me some slack? This ain't your house. Don't you get it? I'm sorry. No need to get so worked up. I haven't even done anything yet. Oi! You! Stop it! I told you to knock it off! Shit! Oh. Oh, my. Ah, this is a disaster. What you gonna do about it? Well... First, I'm gonna do my poop. Uh, oi, you! Ow! Huh? Oh, it's come out a bit. Uh, oi! Uh, there! Finish it in that! If there's cat shit in the garden, I'll get the blame. Sorry, buddy. Huh? It's gone back up again. I'm so gonna kick your ass. Pick me up. <laughs> Guess the rumors are true and my family really is gone, huh? You gotta check where the deals are before going shopping. Right. If you don't plan which stores to hit ahead of time, right. You'll end up wasting money at the wrong store. I need two banana cream deluxe specials, please. Specials, right? <laughs> you're, you're the Torajiro. <sighs> Yakuza who let his fists do the talking, and who was once considered the Immortal Dragon's only rival. The Steel Fist Tiger! Long time no see, Tatsu. You fucking bastard. While I was doing time, you went and busted up my clan. Thanks to you, I got nowhere to go, so now I'm slinging crepes. Enough about me. What the fuck are you doing around here? Huh? These days, I'm a house husband. <laughs> a guy who only knew how to fight as a house husband now? You fucking kidding? I'm a house husband, and you're a crip slinger. I think you know how we gotta settle this. Let's do it then. A duel between two legendary Yakuza is about to go down! The Steel Fist Tiger lives up to his reputation! What dexterity! These are some serious knife skills! doesn't stamp on the whip cream and adds to that. What's it called? That fruit! Boss is going just as hard. Dig into the ingredients we just bought and arrange them real nice. A little of this, on top of that, yeah. That's it! Nice! All right, all right, all right. Extra special jumbo deluxe tropical fruit cream. Fruit jam and almond jelly with strawberries. Huh? 
Drugs too small for our luggage. So cool and big. Can't make the tight turns at the supermarket. So stylish. A gas guzzler's out of the budget. That's more like it. Plenty of cargo space turns well. And the cost of fuel is just... Hmm? No. Excuse me, but how about this one here? This one is a very popular family car. You can fold down the seats for more space. And I could easily throw a person back here, too. I suppose so. Would you like to test drive it? Wow, yes, please. We'd love a test drive, right? Hmm. Bulletproof. Bulletproof? Um, no, it's not. Let's say we use this to hit a few stores running deals. We're not supposed to stop at other businesses. Yeah, stick to the rules, honey. Take a good look around and drive defensively. Drive defensively, huh? I'm backing up! Oh, oh. That guy could easily be an assassin! What? <laughs> that way's blocked her! What the hell are you doing? Sorry, but this deal, I'm gonna have to walk away from it. This is it, boss. You can leave your shoes wherever you want. Oh, Master. What the hell have you done here? I... I let you down. I'm so sorry. No good saying sorry. It's done. We gotta clean this up. It's fine. I'll just run one big... Sure! White sand colors are gonna start a turf war! Think these colors won't bleed? Uh, sorry! What the hell? You've screwed up big time. Yeah, that's from eating curry udon. When you botch the job, you gotta clean it up right away. Give me hot water, 100 degrees. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Uh, what's that white powder? Sodium percarbonate. It's a cocktail of sodium carbonate and hydrogen peroxide. In other words, oxygen bleach. This'll thrash those stains, no problem. Where'd you get this stuff? The hardware store. And now you're waterboarding. You getting this? Uh, uh, yeah. Worst case, I'll just have to Google it. This is where I spill some juice. This is ice cream. This is mud, maybe? I'll take you on all at once, you bastards! Stay out of this, boss! Yep, yeah, got it. That's the boss I know. Still tough as nails. authentic and handmade, so for you, 200 yen. You bought a sewing machine? What's that? Ice shaver. To make me fit. Don't you think it's getting a bit cluttered? All these gadgets and things of yours. Can't you get rid of some of them? Oh, but I... Well, yeah. Okay. Why don't you sell this stuff? Like at a flea market. So you're saying I should take it to the streets, aren't you? To the what? I've got the goods, but this turf is pretty cutthroat. Oh, hey, Tatsu. Sold anything? Nope, not a damn thing. Oh, no. Well, what are you selling? Kitchen gadgets, cleaning gizmos, and some things I made as a hobby. I see. Hey, I'm pretty proud of this. <laughs> huh? Who the fuck said you could sell this shit here? You gotta pay your respects to the Sadawatari group. But I got permission from the facility office. You what? Uh, you gotta pay up, pal. Hey. <laughs> no need to get violent. What did you... <laughs> this guy. He's the immortal dragon. <laughs> Where else? Yeah, fine. Whatever you say. That works. Let's just say I used to be in the same line of work. I know all about turfs. <laughs> I get you can't leave empty-handed. Ah! So here, have a kitty cat peeler. This can peel anything. 
<laughs> Guess you gonna peel off my fingernails? <laughs> you trying to play us, punk? All right. How about a shark shake blender? We're turning us into mincemeat. <laughs> Come on, legs, don't fail me now. Boss, what's wrong? You drive a real hard bargain. Fine, I'll throw this in too. Th this one. I can handle this. It floats. Rub a dub dub. Water. Float. It floats, but I don't. Is it gonna throw me in the sea? Ah! Boss! Please. I beg you, have mercy. <laughs> It's about time. Basil and chamomile, okra and cherry tomatoes, <laughs> pasta, pizza, herbal tea. We got was right. It's growing some suspicious looking plants. I'm not surprised. I knew that punk was gonna be up to no good. We gotta be careful now. No way, Nagai. Let's bust his ass right now. Wait, what? I'll share some with Masa. Hey, Nagai, he's on the move. The Pierce? Where's he going? <laughs> Where do you think? He's off to sell it. Remember, he's a pro. Bet you he's gonna try and fly under the radar. <laughs> he's on the phone. Probably calling his connection. That guy, he's gotta be a pusher! Look, it's going down! Wait for it, wait... Busted! Got him red-handed making a deal! We can nab him right now! Wait, hang on. We need evidence first. We gotta be careful. Look, he's on the move again! Heading down that shady back alley! What's this? The place is closed! Could be a major deal going down. Let's stake him out before... Uh... Wait, we gotta call for backup! Police! What the hell is this? Uh, Madam Chairperson's birthday? We booked the whole joint. A birthday party. That's a lie! We know you made a deal with that punk just now! A deal? You mean this basil that Boss grew? Pasta, pizza, salad, put it in anything. Oh. Hide in the real deal, are ya? You can't fool a veteran like me. The case, the real stuff's in there. This is an offering to Madam Chairperson. It's moist potpourri. W what's moist potpourri? This stuff is moist petals and junk preserved in salt. You're supposed to enjoy the way it smells. When the smell goes away, you can use the salt in your bath. <sighs> You're one feminine felon. An immortal dragon. My knees. Gotta train my knees. Push my knees beyond the fucking limit. Hey, boss. Crush the immortal dragon. Oh, okay. Hey, ain't that Tatsu? The Immortal Dragon? Boss! Hmm? Do it. If you're gonna shoot, aim for my heart! Mine! Nice one! Keep calling out, Tatsu! Yeah! Yeah, bring it on! Come at me, bro! Okay, that's great energy, but not what we meant! Uh. Whacked it! Fuck yeah! Language! Not many of our teammates have shown up lately. Yeah. So it's been such a big help having you practice with us. You want some honeyed lemon? Oh, by the way, the other team that booked the gym today, they want to have a practice match with us. Hmm, a housewives volleyball team beef, huh? I don't think there's a beef, but we should... Uh, um, who are they? Hello, everyone. Nice 
Nice to meet you. We're the Bears. Oh, uh, we're gonna play you guys? Well, I started playing to get fit, but, you know, playing you. Whack it! Show me what you got! Hands up! Bossman! Uh, Ethics and obligation spike! Nice! Good hit! Nice block! Call him out! Take responsibility! Work finished early today. Mm, smells good. I've got a craving for croquettes. Come on, tell me, how'd you get your hands on this stuff? I ain't no snitch, man. Are you gonna buy it or what? Only a hundred yen for a hundred grams of pork loin. Mind you, but there's a tough little critter. You gotta beat him up good. Cut the tendon, stuff him in a sack, and let some protease break him. <laughs> Excellent. Gives me goosebumps. They're not oil. And there you are, a crispy, juicy pork cutlet. Oh. You got off early today, huh? Yep. Left right after my meeting. Miku, I'm sorry, but I've got one more score to settle. Huh? Hey, Pops. How are you? Ah, hi, Tatsu. Need a blade? Nah, you know what I need. What the? Hi, Tatsu. Blood stains again? Leave it to me. Not today, boss lady. You're back for more? That's right. You never learn, do you? Sure don't. <laughs> well, what do you know? Hmm. I completed the stamp rally! Look at that! Proud of you. Okay, so what do you do now with all of those stamps? <laughs> what is it? It's the fight of a lifetime. The lucky dip! First prize is a trip to Hawaii, second is a 4K TV! Ooh, I like the TV! I'm hoping for the third prize, the Dyson Vacuum Cleaner! Ooh. This is the last day for the lucky dip. Today's my 10th crack at winning the vacuum cleaner. Your 10th try? Hey, old man! Sure, you got all the stamps you need. I ain't no cheater. All or nothing! It's a stuffed animal. Wow! This is so cute! That's just too bad there, youngin. I won. <laughs> you really think you won? The real first prize is making my wife smile! My wife smile! Alright, enough! What? You're coming over now? Why? You're just in the neighborhood? But it's so sudden! We don't really have- I got this. Catalase and Darjeeling tea for you, ma'am, sir. Hope it's to your taste. My, this is so chic, Tatsu. Secret ingredients, rum. Tachan can make anything. You mean you made these yourself? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. I wanted to break the ice, but... What a treat. Sorry about the short notice. Not at all. You are, of course, always welcome here anytime. This cannoli has jam in it. Yes, it's my own recipe. The jam is homemade, too? <laughs> I want you to give me some homemaking tips, Tatsu. None for me. I'm good. <laughs> We're having such a good time. Oh, I know. We could talk about animals. So, I read that pigs are actually smart. Pigs? Really? Can't really say I got a lot of... I see. I know. We can talk about hobbies. I like karaoke, so maybe... Tatsu, do you like to sing? Ah, uh, bragging's not my style. But I ain't never sung once in my life. Uh... Really? How about we go play a little catch, Tatsu? Oh. I always dreamed of having a son. And that one day, we'd play catch. Aren't you two a little old for that? When Miku first brought him home, I fell right on my ass. Not like I was scared or anything. I knew we'd get along, no problem. Okay, here it comes. Ready! 
Here you go. Well, I think that's enough catch. Wait, what's wrong? Are you okay? A game of catch is like a father and son heart to heart. It can't just be one-sided. I see. I messed up, Dad. You see? When you play catch, you can talk about anything you want. Are you okay? <laughs> that was a marvelous slider, my boy. It's no amateur. He whacked me from behind, out of the blue. He's one tough son of a bitch. Oh, a cockroach. Ugh. This place has roaches now? I don't know where this hitman came from or who sent him. But he's got some balls thinking he can just waltz into the immortal dragon's turf. You won't get away from this, you son of a bitch! I'm out of ammo. You sadist. You think you can just mess with my wife's things like that? Uh, Miku. Take him out. You know what you have to do. But if I do that, I'll be haunted by the image of you with the cockroach squished on your chest for the rest of my life. I've got to protect what's sacred to me. I missed. This is war. <clears throat> Aromatic oil. The bastards hate citrus or strong herbal fragrances. When I light this... Oh, that smells nice. <sighs> Relaxing. Relaxing. Thank you for shopping with us. Oh, what are you doing with all that merchandise? I've got a meeting to crash. A meeting? The neighborhood kids club Christmas party. Okay, everyone, sit down, please. So, Santa Claus has come all the way from the North Pole to see you. Which thing is Santa Claus? Let's call him in on the count of three. <laughs> One, two, come in, Santa! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! You may not know, I was born in Japan! For those who want to know my story, I wander far and wide to distribute to kids all over the world! First name's Otto, last name's Claus! So those who know me call me Immortal Claus! Honored to make your acquaintances! Now then, tell me, have you kids been good this year? Have you kept to the code? The code? Or have you been misbehaving? You ain't trying to pull one over on me? Huh? All right. I brought the goods as promised. Ah! Horsehair crabs. Ah. <laughs> okay, kids, everyone say thank you to Santa. Thanks, Santa. I'll miss you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Merry Christmas. Not a sleigh. Oh man. Oh, you again? The way of the house husband. Tatsu? Shall we play some catch? That wasn't too bad. Start by facing away. Let's play some catch. How about it, kid? Son, it's time we play ball. Let's go! Catch time! How about it? Darling? That's it! 
It's a one-time job. I trust that a man with your skills can handle it. If the pay's good, then count me in. I ain't worked in ages. When can I start? Gentlemen, welcome. Don't let him make a fool of you. I want you to round up the young blood and give him a scare. Yes, sir. Hello, gentlemen. <gasps> ain't seen you around here before, pal. You could say my employment here is temporary. You two know what you'd like to order today? Yeah, uh, I'll have this. I ain't never seen a bouncer in this joint. First, my boss sent over some beans with your name on them. Beans? Ah, oh, rose beans. Allow me. Yeah. Your latte, sir. Aw, oh, a kitty cat. Hey, I didn't order this! Oh, uh, that's mine. What did you order? <laughs> On top of this shit, you ain't even making money. I'll do better. Who had the rice omelet? Oh, yep, that's mine. You're just here to stuff your face? Sorry, boss! Just for you. Nice, gangster! What? You taking the piss out of me, are you? Huh? No. our specialty, the giant strawberry parfait. He just raised his hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Who the hell was that guy? Thanks for your hard work, Tetsu. Take it, you earned it. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Now I've got enough to get Miku a present. The way of the house husband. Uh, overtime's wearing me out. Hey, boss! Congrats on making it out of the pen! God, he's loud. You've been coming home looking so beat lately. So I cooked up something special for you. What'd you do? Ginseng salad, porridge with black rice, millet, and lotus, Austin dressing, chicken, and star anise soup. Kinshin sai and spinach pickled in goji vinegar, fennel and juju. Pork stir fry. Wow. I don't get it. All this stuff in front of you here is gonna give you a boost. Food is medicine? Bon appetit! It's nice and mild and surprisingly soothing. Mm. It feels like everything is warming me up from the inside out. The flavors are subtle, yet they stimulate the appetite. Only there's too much of it. <laughs> oh, I'm stuffed. Man, all this overtime is really wearing on me. Hmm. I got just the thing you need. Hmm? One hit of this and you'll be flying high. Citric acid. Mix it with honey and you get lemonade. The acidity from lemons and other stuff like that is perfect for tiredness. Yep, that's lemonade. Well, I ain't done yet. What's in there? <laughs> What's that? Huh? Hey, I can't see! Stop! Be quiet. Just listen. You've got a wire scalp massager on your head and a heated eye mask over your eyes. These red beans produce the soothing sound of the sea. And there's a cat on your lap. It's too much! My whole body's panicking! Wait a minute. You gotta get some citric acid in ya. Hey, don't chew on that wire. That's exactly what my old boss said when he got out of the slammer. Woohoo! The guy on TV said this would work wonders. I'm gonna take a bath. Huh? Is this thing plugged in? Miku, can you have a look? Miku? That's better. Uh... Wow, he's happy. Doing time in the pen, are you? Could you do this, Mrs. Tori? The older products need to be replaced with fresh ones, so could you put the stickers on them? I see. So you're asking me to stick it to them? Uh, sure, let's go with that. You're all half price now. I guess you lost your edge, hmm? The Tory Group boss lady. Hm. You. Aren't you the immortal dragon? In, in an, an apron? apron? Ibari Tori. 
A matriarch of the Tory group, highly regarded by members and outsiders for her beauty and ca- Hold it! That's half off. Skimming off the top, aren't you? Wait, Mrs. Tory, don't stick those on products from that case! After my husband passed last year, we shut down our group. We have no cash, no connections. So it falls on me to take care of the guys who have nothing else and stuck around. Huh. How dare you mock me? This is my meal ticket! Don't mess with me! And don't muscle in on my territory! I've just got one piece of advice. This one belongs in the pasta aisle. Oh. oh. Great boss, I call to action! I know. Is it true you walked away? One 200 yen item. From the Yakuza life after one 90 yen item. What went down? One 120 yen item. I'm a full-time house husband now. I see. Need a bag? Nope. I have my own bag. One last thing, ma'am. You rang this item up twice, uh... What? You trying to disrespect our boss, huh? See here? So fucking what? Hold it! We still must follow the code. Boss! All right, we're square. Oh, and one last thing. I forgot to bring my points card with me. Huh. Next time you come in, bring the receipt and I'll stamp it! Just a sec. What? Huh? How do you do? My name's Masa Man. I am Tatsu's sworn younger brother and student. Oh, so you're Masa. Nice to meet you. I'm Miku. What brings me here today is the boss's, you know... Uh, it's birthday! Tachan's gone shopping into a neighborhood meeting. He won't be back until later. So I'm decorating the place while he's out. And baking him a cake as a birthday surprise! Well, 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 let's do it! I'd be happy to help, boss lady! Really? That'd be so great! I was just slicing some fruit for the cake! Uh, uh, wait a sec, boss lady! How about I do that part? Huh? You sure? Uh, uh, uh. Too slow! You gotta be faster and really whack up. Hold on a minute, can we maybe Google it? What the hell happened? Happy birthday. We... we screwed up. So that's what went down here, eh? Don't worry! I'll avenge you! Wow, way to go, Tachan! You nailed it, boss man! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to me. Wait, this cake is... Yeah, I remade it with what I could save from your creation. You worked hard on it, so I didn't want to waste it. Touch on? <laughs> A very happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, boss! I got your new shades! And the bling is for me! <laughs> How do I look? Hey, boss. Ah, Tatsu. Been a while, huh? I ain't seen your mug since you left the family. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you back then, boss. Ah, relax. I'm retired. I'm not a Yakuza anymore. There's no need to be so discussed with you today. Did you know you could use rubber gloves to remove dog hair from your threads? Huh. Anyway, let's sit down. Now then, how have things been going for you? How's your health? Yeah. They're doing all right. Now I'm a full-time house husband. Good, good. Wait, a house husband? Yes, sir, and I brought some goods you might what? like. What goods? Took up sewing recently and made this. Nice. Fits like a glove. Oh, who's a cute little doggy? You are, Pinky. Yes, you are. He made you a little sweater. Who's a lucky doggy? I even added some ribbing to it to give it a little bit of style. You got a bit soft there, kid. It's the immortal dragon I want to talk to today. 
Oh, hi. How are you, Tatsu? Uh, boss lady, ma'am. We've been shopping while walking our dogs. Oh, it's a golden retriever. Who might this gentleman be? Oh, what a darling Jack Russell. Oh, dear. Your Jack Russell looks a bit underweight to me. Mm. Mm. Well, the truth is my pinky hasn't been eaten much recently. But you still eat your treats, don't you? Did Widow Pinky get fed up with that trifle? Hey, boss. I might have just the thing. Here. so. If you need ingredients, I got them. Uh. Would a cabin stove help? What? We're in business. <laughs> the important thing is liquids. The stock from the Shichimi clam contains ornithine, which detoxifies the liver. Choose the right amount according to the dog's condition and weight and chop your ingredients while making the stock. Incorporate some dietary fibers and vitamins. Add your ingredients to the stock. Finish it off with some toppings, and here's your special doggy chicken and rice and sajimi clam stock meal. I'll be damned, she's eating it. You're a lucky girl, eh, Pinky? All right. Very impressive work, Tatsu. I couldn't have done it without you, ladies. Uh, let's go. Huh? Wait, you're not going to tell them someone higher up in the organization wants to recruit him? Nah. This is where he belongs now. Does he have sugar on his face or something? <sighs> huh? What are you up to, Kate? Are you all alone too? Don't look at me like that. Stray's gotta be strong to survive. to be shy folks go on take one these juicy little guys have been cured for a full 72 hours whoa look at that stare Ta -ta! come quick it's serious what what is it oh, hey i ain't finished shopping hurry up look it's <laughs> off this little feud. Uh, I'm not sure. It's just for the show, right? Gokudan builds up the evil in people's hearts and absorbs all their negative energy. In this world, you either get beat or do the beating. Conflicts just breed conflict. But you can't protect Jack through violence. Miku, my gear! Ladies and gents of the audience, I extend my deepest gratitude to all of you here. Polycure Gang, Gokudon Gang, we will perform the ceremonial rites of reconciliation. Both groups will now share a drink. With that, Polycure Group and Gokudon Group, we wish both your families prosperity and peace from now on. Yep. Right. Yeah. Uh, now you may join us for a meet and greet. So that's the new gear, is it? I got it from a friend of a friend. Hell if I know what to do with this thing. Jackpot, this baby has a steam function. The max temp can get over 500 with a capacity of 30 liters. This will increase my production tenfold. Production? What? Is that 
what I think it is? You're damn right. Flower and dry yeast. Ah, uh, got it. He's doing the white powder thing again. Get ready, because now it's bread time! You gotta nail these measurements and temperatures. If the sultry yeast is even a gram off course, you're a goner! Beat it to get that gluten! You gotta really punch it and drag it around! That's how you make it perfectly fluffy and moist. Perfectly fluffy? <sighs> get something to wrap it up now. Got it. Plastic wrap. Let's see. Where'd I put it? Look at the damn cable. Shit! Up and down! Oh! Microwave! <laughs> Sorry, boss man! I will pay for this mistake! Let me just Google self-punishment methods. I got the method. Okay. Bread dough needs to rise somewhere between 80 and 90 degrees. It ain't easy. You gotta keep the temperature just right. But, using the keep warm mode on this sucker, we just might save the batch. Keep warm for 10 minutes, cut the cord and wait 40 more. Now give it a rest, attack any air bubbles, reshape and then proof it again! Finally grease it up, pop the rice cooker on and... <laughs> Look at that! Fake up like a champ! Man, boss has got skills! Bust this bad boy out! Give it a face, and feast your eyes upon this! It's... it's so cute! Here. Ah, ow, ah! <laughs> what the... It's coming from next door! Fire! What the hell are you doing, man? Oh, I, um... Just grilling some stuff? Uh, do you want some of this meat? You serious? <coughs> Apologies, Tatsu-san. The hell you thinking, Bob? Nearly killed us both. I moved here because I love Japan, you know? But suddenly I wanted some good home cooking. Trouble is, I can't barbecue half as good as my daddy. Yeah, we're taking this beef outside. We are? Got the goods? Hell yeah, I got stocked up at Dasco. Now we're talking. I'll show you how the Japanese handle a beef. Cut off the fat when the meat's room temp. Whoa! A katana! Salt and pepper! Don't give him time to recover. Throw him directly on the heat. Yeah! When it's good and seared, flip it. And then wrap the sucker up and leave it to squirm in its own heat. Yeah! This will make sure it's rare and juicy. Hey, hold it right there. <clears throat> what are you doing? Why have you got a barbecue? The <clears throat> Get out of here. I got this. Cut that out, you hear? Hurry, the meat! I could arrest you for obstruction. Oh. Do it! Uh, Tatsu-san? <clears throat> Tatsu-san! <laughs> I just can't! I can't eat meat this rare! Have a fun time with nature at Bremen Farm? Ain't we a little bit old to hit up a kitty park? Joint like that'll be nuts on a weekend, and there's... traffic. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at that, everyone's living it up. Hey, excuse me a second. <laughs> Keep those pictures coming. Yes. This time, go low. Got it. Okay, you love this. Admit it. I admit nothing. Listen, this ain't your average old farm. This place seems like it's got something for everyone. Flower gardens, specialty food, rides, craft classes. Let's plan our attacks. Look, there's a petting zoo. <laughs> Where are you going? We bag these bastards, we'll give them hell. So, word is your stuff's totally pure and uncut, that true? Watch my back, Miku, I'm going in! <sighs> I'm starving. They jack up prices at places like this. Oh, you packed a picnic? Well, it ain't all that much. Wow, you really went for it. I think you might be having more fun than me. I ain't that jazzed about it. You are, admit it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I am not. R2. Fine, you got me! 
I've been stoked about this trip for days, okay? It's you. I dreamed of being in places like this. Because I grew up in the underworld, I never had the chance to go to a theme park. I've always wanted to see one. Oh, that's sweet. So, thanks, Miku. This was a day to remember. What do you mean, was? Come on! We've still got half the day left! More food tastings! And horse riding! And the sheep races! Uh, rain. Eh, just a little rain. Way of the house, house husband. husband. <sighs> can't see. Shit. Where is it? Over here. It's this way. You can't hide forever. I said this way. Oh well. That you were scared, weren't you? <sighs> I love beach days like this. Want to lose the floaty? You need me unarmed. I need it for the snorkeling, fishing, crabulent when we're out. Man, so sorry about that. Yep. We were just playing some beach volleyball back there. It's the bears. Oh, it's you. Friends of yours? The housewife's team rumbled with them a while back. That's right. And we gave you quite the beating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well then, see ya. And if you ever want to throw down again, just give us a shout. <laughs> Will do. Man up! You're really about to let that go? Are you a man or what? I am. All right. Rico! Star Cyclo! Plasma Buster! Starlight Illusion! I'm wiped! Yeah, it's all the shouting. What are you talking about? Sports are all about the shouting! Come on, use your voice! Cyclonic Vacuum Cleaner! Plasma Buster Indoor Air Purifier! LED Ceiling Light Kit! Oh shit! That's the... Honor and Humanity Spike! <laughs> A real man is willing to get whacked protecting his loving wife. Uh, Touch on, get up! Huh? Hit. Uh, male honor spike! <laughs> See that? That's the power of man and wife! Looks more like a princess. Third grade Tatsu class. House husband sensei! Hey, I hear we've got a brand new teacher today. Oh yeah? <laughs> this ought to be good. All right, knock it off. Brothers and sisters, please allow me to introduce myself. Thanks to some connections in high places, I've been put in charge of your third grade Tatsu class. It's an honor to risk my life in service of this class! You can all call me Tatsu! Although I admit I'm still just a rookie here, I'm gonna do my best to teach you home ec! You and me are gonna have some fun. Yes, sir? For your first assignment, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. Anything goes in this fight. Choose your weapon and get the job done. What the...? A bunch of plain aprons? And stencil sheets? So we're supposed to make... Damn right. You want us to make apron art? Screw this pansy ass crap! You loosen out on me, kid. Everyone else is gonna have a bespoke apron to wear. You really wanna break ranks with a plain one? Screw you! I'll make one, alright? Okay, begin! Looks like we're all geared up and ready to head out there. Target acquired. It's cooking time. <sighs> Crepes just aren't bringing in dough anymore. Time to change up the menu. Huh? Oh, yeah, what's that again? People seem to love it. God, what's that stuff called? Uh... Oh, yeah! Tapioca! 
tapioca milk tea! I'm pissed that I have to ask you, but you've got the intel I need. What do you need? Tell me everything you know about that tapioca stuff making the rounds. Springy texture, chewy. You can mix it into a little drink. Junkies show it off on Instagram. It's a mad street trip. They call it bubble tea. Come with me. It's my informant. You gonna sing or what, man? Patient. Hmm. Second floor of this building. What? Is this a confectionery specialty store? Yeah, that's right. This white powder is the best quality money can get you. Bingo. Huh? Powder? Tapioca comes in little balls! You trying to fleece me? Do amateur! Uh, you add this shit to hot water a little at a time and then roll it into balls yourself! Really? Why are you just standing there? Go boil the damn water! I'm doing it! Quit nagging! Go get the brown sugar ready! Gotta keep it slow, little by little! I know, I'm not stupid! Too much! Stop, 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 stop! Oh, damn. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about! Pure grade tapioca! <laughs> more! We need more! We boiled up the tapioca. Cut it with some milk tea, and then... Our bubble tea is finally complete! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> One of those things gunned it straight from my throat. Almost took me out. This shit's lethal. Gather around. This tapioca is made from the best stuff around. One hit of what we're selling today, and you'll be hooked for life. Look, they have bubble tea. Want some? Oh, yeah. I could totally go for some of that. Uh, I'm sick of that. <sighs> Excuse me, pal. Six of those milk teas you're dealing. Tapioca. So how big a hit do you want? This place we're about to hit, it's run by the most powerful organization in Japan. They've got at least 20,000 members in their crew. And they do any hustle. Nothing is off limits. No limits. Let's do this! A 99 cent store? Bring color to your life at Serio. Discover amazing things at Kangu. Mm -hmm. And lastly, done at Daiso. Three of the biggest heavyweights in the business here, battling for control of the turf. Haven't been in this joint for a while. They've still got everything, huh? Well... I mean, most of this stuff looks like useless scrap to me. Have some goddamn respect! The 100 yen shop is our ally. You call this juicer useless? Before. After! This place has an all. Say the meal you've cooked is missing a little something. Arm yourself! Underestimating these things will be your downfall, man! Before. After! Whoa, he's starting to get it. Boss, you know what's up! Masa, so tell me, are you keeping your house in good order these days? Uh, yeah, totally. Yep, yes. Oh yeah? Look me in the eye. You washing your sheets regularly? Sorting your recycling from your trash? <clears throat> what? Of course I am, boss. Why? Oh. Tell me what this is for. Three, two, one. It's a mini bug net! It's a lint catcher for the laundry! Oh, I knew that. Okay, what's this? Ah, this one's easy. It's a handle for something. Apple slicing tool! I was just gonna say that. How about this? Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. I uh, know this one. This. Oh, um, this. Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, <laughs> the little bug net! <sighs> Sorry, boss. I choked. I gotta confess, I suck at home making. Figured you might. You can learn all of this, just gotta practice. Stuff to your arsenal. Yes, sir! Damn, I forgot what this does. Still up. <laughs> what? 
The reader really canceled on us? Yeah, we got the call yesterday. We had a lot of trouble finding a replacement for them. Oh, so that's why he's here. Gather around, kiddos. Don't be shy. I'm gonna tell you all a little tale. Yay! What are you reading? Well, something special I just made. Momotaro. I know this one. Momotaro! That lettering. Once upon a time, a boss man and boss lady lived in a village far away. <laughs> Each day, they ran the family's rackets. Boss man gathered wood in the mountains, and boss lady washed clothes in the river. Boss man? Boss lady? One day, boss lady came back looking all spooked and rattled, carrying some peachy goods on her back. Where'd you get a score like this? The less you know, the better. Then bring me my steel. Boss man split the gun. Out came a bouncing baby boy. We'll call him Momotaro, the boy who was born in a peach. Momotaro quickly grew into a fine young man and member of the family. We've had some low-life demons messing around on our turf lately. Boss man, boss lady, I can't let him disrespect you like that. Just say the word and I'll take him out. You honor us with these words, Momotaro. Hey, boss lady, get this kid a sword and some dumplings. Momotaro leaves for Demon Island and comes across a dog just wandering along the road there. Look, a doggy! It's a doggy! Hey, boss, where are you going? Hey, dog. I got a score to settle on Demon Island. Can you use these dumplings to get Monkey and Fezzik to join our crew? So he rolls up on a boat with his three sworn brothers. Oi, you ruthless bastards! Time to pay! Shouted Momotaro as he flew at him. Who do you bozos think you are? We're from the Peach Group, fools! In the scene straight from hell, angry roars and screams fill the air. The Peach Crew wipes out scores of demons in no time. Demon boss, you know what happens next? Momotaro corners the demons. Do you want cash? Spare me and I'll give you anything! Name your price. Now how much do you want? My price. Use this. What? You know what I want. What? And just like that, they all had a group hug. Momotaro forgave the demon guys, and they all lived happily ever after! What? Uh-huh. Hey, wait a minute! I was just about to get to Monkey's Forever War. <laughs> The boss, the lead henchman, and the underlings. A total of ten in the crew. Out of these, seven get busted. It's a massive blow. So how many do we have left? We've got three left. <laughs> right on target. <sighs> we put a beating on your math homework. What's next? Who's the next victim on your hit list of summer assignments? Uh, well, now that math is done, the only thing left is independent research. Independent research? You saying you left the baddest mother for last? Um, an experiment, investigation, could make a pen holder out of some wood? Something out of wood. Pen holder. Sorry for asking you for so much help, Tatsu. This is my bedroom! First we plan the attack, then we bust out the gear. Pen holder. Lift your end. Hold it there. Pen holder. And voila! Whoa, so stylish. What? Did you do my room? Calm down. Give me a chance to explain. I put these beams in so we don't beat up the walls. They've got a walnut-like finish, which matches the colors and gives it a vintage feel. You ain't got a lot of space, so I added some storage. This pegboard here is multi-use and also adds character. Just pop a box on it and you got a pen holder. Whoa, clever. Cool. Well, I'm just a kid! And this assignment is supposed to be for kids! I couldn't make all this stuff on my own! I think I made colorful soap back when I was in school. Yeah, yeah! I wanna do something like that! You wanna make colorful soap? We'll have to get our hands dirty. Are you ready? Oil and water, and sodium hydroxide. Keep your guard up, kid. This stuff ain't for the faint-hearted. First, dissolve the sodium hydroxide in the water. Let it cool down slowly. Yeah, that's it. And you mix in the oil. It looks dirty. <laughs> that's it. It's not colorful at all. Put the cap on tight and give it a good shake. The mix will get all thick and pale, and then it's ready to mold. Pour the stuff into a milk carton and wait for it to set. How long? About three days. Okay. Then we'll cut it and mature it for a month. Right, okay. But school starts tomorrow. So that's why I don't have the good stuff.
powder sets, it's gonna be some really good stuff. That's what he told me. He was smiling a bunch. And then they say they don't want anything because they've already eaten. Yep, I get that all the time. <laughs> I said, if you don't want dinner, just tell me sooner. Save me the trouble. Exactly. <laughs> that kind of battle can turn into an all-out war. Oh, Tatsu, you're so dramatic. <laughs> but you're right. It is a war, isn't it? Oh, excuse me. One strawberry milk crate, please, miss. It really is so hard to keep up and cook for the family every day. Yeah, I remember how tough it was to be the family gopher. Gopher? One time I had to dish out a hundred servings of sashimi to guests. One hundred? I had one little slip up. It almost got some beans blasted in me. Oh. Wait, beans? Some beans? She blasted beans at you. You know that puppy we adopted last month? Well, at first, my husband and kids looked after her and walked her every day. But now that they've lost interest, it's all up to me. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Once we had 20 dogs, and I had to take them all out for a walk at the same time. I love dogs, but 20 is too many and damn expensive. T 20 Jeez. Our husbands and kids are lucky they get a break. So true. We're supposed to do the cleaning, no matter how busy- On ambush. Ambush? What on earth happened? The bus got heated and started flipping tables. And I got the wrong kind of lotus root, and I got smacked for it. Is that what Miku is really like? Can't judge a book by its cover, huh? No kidding. Sorry, phone call from the missus. Hi, Tachan? Can we talk for a minute? I just finished work, and I'm heading home. Yes, ma'am. You've had a long day. <sighs> yeah, and I was just thinking, I'm craving homemade udon tonight. Have you made dinner already? Tonight. Consider it done. <gasps> Tonight? What? Yeah, that's not a problem. Just need to get my hands on some of that top shelf white powder. Chuck, yeah. Some tempura and summer veggies would be great too. Maybe green peppers? Ooh, we could really put some heat on them. Intimidation. Your choice of boiling or burning. <laughs> yeah. Got it. All right, you secure the goods. Who are these two? Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Thanks for the top-notch tea, ladies. Apologies for the phone call. Oh, that's quite all right. Sounded like there's a little problem waiting at home. Everything all right? Yeah. Miku's got a job for me to do. Nothing I can't handle. Tatsu, now if you get into any hot water, we're here for you, okay? Treat for the road? So I smacked that sucker so fast you never saw it coming. Then he hopped off, balling for his mommy, dumb frog. Wow, you're so tough. Oh yeah, kid, I've never lost a fight. Swat him from the left, claw from the right. Got it? Got it. So... Stop that. No surprise attacks. Cut it out. A fair fight is a contest of strength, done by the book. Oh, okay. Come at me. What are you doing? Where are you going? No! Idiot! Not from behind! Jeez, so many rules! Discounts, check. Price match, check. Freshness, check. Next stop, locked on target. Oof. Immortal dragon. That's... Yeah, remember me? You can tell my crew! The Horako group sends its regards! Mark check, one, two, one, two! Here I am, the top ranker! Straight from Yakuza to Dope Rapper! I never forgot that honor we had! Risking our lives cause we were so bad! I ain't no chat, you gonna regret it! The name's Chief Goda, now don't you forget it! Goda. I'm a house husband, yo! These aprons are my battle clothes! Cycle every cycle! Humidifier! Dehumidifier! Purifier! Audience! Make some noise! What? what? We haven't forgotten how you took our crew out, but now it's our turn to give a victory shout! Teriyaki, Sukiyaki, Eriyaki, I can do it all, you see? This is a freestyle rap battle. A rapid exchange of words in rhyme either to assert something or to find fault with the other. Fun fact, the famous rapper was recently caught using a voice actor for his track. Immortal track, and you keep missing! Yo, you gotta diss me, that's the freestyle mission! Go close the door! <gasps> that's not even true, man. Hey, uh... I just... sorry. He apologized. Let's try again, yeah? Come on. Uh, okay. How about that? The theme can be meat. Huh. Themes are for amateurs, yo. Hey, pal. What the hell's with all the commotion? 
pork is that right can't be beat. Uh -huh. Dinner tonight, it's gotta be meat. The cost of chicken is a sin. Look at this guy, he's up to something. The meat is juicy, but the owners are cutie. Uh, cutie is better? Yo, yo, what's next is my turn. I got no gimmicks, just dope lyrics. The sense runs through me, and the fat runs through the meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah me. Uh, I, I, you, you, you cut the meat, and then you get the bones, try and cut the meat. You, you get the bones. <laughs> I'm tapping out! If you wanna get mean, my market's running some deals. If you wanna get some meat, if you wanna get some fresh meat, I got all kinds of meat! Uh, yeah, it's a rap battle? The Way of the House Husband. Okay, I'm leaving for my business trip. I won't be back until tomorrow. Got your purse and your phone? And your umbrella? You'll have the place to yourself. You should take it easy for once. Have a good trip. Take it easy. Right. Take it easy. Pretty day, ain't it? Normally I'd wash the sheets and air out the futons. But today I think I'm gonna take it easy. I'll take it easy on these sheets. Just hit them with my bread! <laughs> Citrusy fresh fragrance. Usually I bring in the laundry and carefully fold each item one at a time. But there's one sick hack I saw online. A hidden dark web technique. Call them in and put them up still hanging. I was gonna soften these up before stewing up. Simmer them with the lid on. Now for the secret stash. Haven't had a fix in a while. Instant noodles for lunch. My ultimate vice. I just got fired, so I'm killing some time. Really? Huh? You really all by yourself? Yeah, I was just planning to take it easy. Sounds like you and me gotta show this day who's boss. Two grown men playing video games in the middle of a weekday. This guy, he's no amateur. Boss? Gotta do the laundry, get groceries, and scrub the bath. Gents, I'm out. But, what the? You're failing already? You said you were gonna take it easy today! Okay, you win, I'll stay. Just one more round. Kick back with some crunchy snacks, look at your phone, and then just... This laziness is next level. He's a true master. Shit. I can't. I can't take it. The laundry and the groceries. Masa, let go! You crap boss man. More. I think we should enter this. It's some kind of Halloween costume contest. Huh? Halloween? You kidding me? First place wins a trip. Second place gets rice for a year. A year's supply? What the hell are you doing here, huh? Looking for a fight? Well, whose turf do you think we're on right now? Stop it, you two. I won't be cleaning up any of your messes. I've got my eyes on that premium Niigata rice. Huh. You boys don't have what it takes. You think so, huh? There's no way you're gonna get that rice. I'm hoping for the vacation. Okay, everyone, thanks for waiting. This is the Shopping District Halloween Costume Contest. You can enter on your own or as a group. We're looking for that special Halloween look. Let's see some costumes, everyone. Entry number one, please welcome the Tory family. Mind your own business, huh? <laughs> So, Tory family, show us what you got. I'll let you in on a special skill I have. So, to start, we have 845 yen plus... Hmm? Hey, slow down. Too fast. Accounting? Entry number two. Great maker, Mr. Tora. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm a dying Yakuza. What's your problem? Let go of me! Let's forget that happened, huh? Next up, entry number three. Three? Yeah, here, I made uh, it. Uh, 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 uh. Overslept a little. <laughs> we'll skip that one. What a bunch of amateurs. 
Homemade frosted pumpkin cookies. Just something to say <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, what a bribe. And the results are in. The winner is entry number nine, Yuko. Congratulations, little Yuko. Of course. Two, please. Right this way. This place is a battlefield. I haven't been here in ages. You have 90 minutes to enjoy the buffet today. Great. It's worth out of this. You've got all kinds of grub. How should I plan my attack? Ooh, this looks good. Can't take them all on at once. I'd be outnumbered. Going straight for the carbs will put me out of the fight too soon. I've got it. The first move is to hit the salad bar. Huh? Take it on the curry first? She's lost her damn mind. Gotta say, though, this main course lineup ain't messing around. <clears throat> I know I'm playing with fire here, but the pool is too strong. I can't stop myself. Freshly made seafood rice au gratin. What the? That was played. Uh, they got me right when I ran out of real estate. I walked right into their trap. Mm -hmm. Looks like you couldn't make a decision. Guess you decided on all of it. <laughs> it's too much. Are you okay? Still fighting. Don't worry, I've still got my eye on the prize. Move it! Let me guess, you're after it too. Carefully cultivated fruits in various colors. A fool fool kitchen special. Jam packed with all that cream. You're in over your head. <laughs> the farmers that brought up all these fruits treated them like their own precious little babies. Salt and velvety cream teamed up with the sweet and sour fruits. The crunchy pie crust. The contrasting flavors. Pie crust. They're too strong. This is a battlefield. So strong. Huh? Where's your dessert? Did they run out? <laughs> I got this slice earlier. We can split it. Miku. That's a lot of food you've bought. What are you making? Well, it's family fun time. So guess, what do you think? Hmm? Nabe! Of course. Ah, oh, Dad, Mom, hi. Good to see you, Tatsu. Mm. Go on, tell him. <clears throat> I was thinking we could do a hot pot. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, I'll start the hot pot. You stay here, son. Huh? What are you... Dad, that technique, it's just like Miku. Hmm? Oh, Tatsu, that man cooks like a runaway train. Can you really stop it? Tachan, I can help you out too. Miku, no. Okay, Dad, what should I do? Hmm? Not good. These two knife wielded hooligans have joined forces. All right, let's tackle the Brock. Okay. <laughs> Brock the lifeblood of a hot pot. If I have to, I'll go down swinging. Takes you back, eh, Miku? We used to cook together when you were a kid. You were always offering to help me. <laughs> was I really? But you were always such a dangerous child. Aw, oh, I wasn't that bad. It's all over a lot. You threw things, you clotheslined people, and my blood turned cold just watching you go. But now... <clears throat> it seems like I don't have to worry about protecting you now. I'm watching her back, sir. Tatsu. All right, add the curry powder and ponzu. Rice, udon, mochi, let's use it all. Oh, no. <sighs> uh. Dinner's ready. You'll detain these two radicals. You're a true master, Mom. 
Not a single thing to eat. Really don't want to go food shopping. What am I doing? I gotta get off my ass and go shopping! Four o'clock p.m. It's four. Four? Oh, really? Well, I did get up pretty late. Boss, I'll make you proud. Tomorrow. Cool. Tell me. A cold? Sorry. But that ain't gonna happen. You little punks got any idea whose turf you're trying to invade? What? Impossible. The late nights, thin clothes, dry air in here. You gotta reap what you've sown. Uh, ginger and lemon. And a hefty splash of vitamin-infused honey to taste. This ought to turn the tide of battle. Huh. Everyone armed and ready, gang? Yes, boss. Now for the humidifier and microspatial steamer. This'll hold off dehydration. A hit of cold medicine for insurance. And now, rest! What? It went up. I can... still... fight... back. That's enough. Huh? Fighting will not solve anything. The light. Oh, you're awake. Oh, I was so worried. I came home and found you on the floor. Just a minor setback. I'm gonna make this... Get some rest. Want some food? Uh, maybe something to drink? Here you go. I took all the vegetables I could find in the freezer and blended this up. And I added vitamins. Wait. Drink! <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, you feeling better yet? Yeah. A little queasy. A very happy new year to you, young man. Oh, thank you. Back at ya. Uh, I can't go to any parties because I'm broke. Oh, hey. I bet boss has a New Year's money gift for me. Look out, boss. I'm coming for your wallet. Happy New Year. Those new threads? Yeah, from this. Though something I just got on a raid. It's a Lucky Apron gift bag from a New Year's sale. Looks like the New Year's treating you right. I could use a bit of that luck. Well, we could split this haul if you want. Uh, no, I'm good. You too. We were about to do some New Year's calligraphy. Nice, that's old school. Wanna write something? Uh, are you sure? Okay. Why the hell did you write that? 
Whoops, did I mess up? You're supposed to write what you want to happen. Uh. Huh? Uh, I'm a little broke at the moment, so, you know. Follow me. Finally! Hey, 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 hey. Glad I borrowed this gear from the landlord. Mochi? More like Mocha Jing. <laughs> Am I right, boss? Masa, I'm on it. Don't worry, I didn't forget the brown powder. <clears throat> yeah, that's the stuff. Hey! Oh, good shot, Masa! Hey, boss, you lost, so you gotta pay. <laughs> All right. You done yet? Run faster! Uh, yeah! Ah! Uh, I dropped the kite! Man, it sank just like my bank account did! Keep a better hold on it next time. It slipped through my fingers just like my cash. Crap, I hope it ain't broke like me. Look at this crew here. Seven or eight of them. Bet they're all rich. I'm sure they'd help a pal out on New Year's Day. Fine, I get it. I'll carry it. No, hold up. Let go. What's your problem? Just wait a sec. Oh, it's Tatsu. Oh, real Little man, you flying kites too? No, we have a drone. I tech. I'm flying it with my dad over there. What? Oh, yeah, real tough. New Year's money for you. It ain't much. What? Awesome! Thank you so much! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my New Year's gift? Here you are. A local sake fair. Ah, didn't know they did these here. It looks like fun. Looks like it covers a lot of turf. Ah, here it is. Oh, it's a happening place. A table for three, please? Sure. Start with this sake. It's called Pine Dew. It's made with spring water found 120 meters underground. The only other ingredient is regionally sourced rice. Hey, this is the real McCoy. No cutting agents. This stuff is pure. Wow, this sounds like a major score. <laughs> <laughs> that mellow fragrance and sharp flavor. Cuts like a katana! Would you three like to try this one as well? Oh, yes, please! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, ma'am, I think you've had enough. Masa, pass your cup here. Yeah, here you go. Oh, thanks, ma'am. Drink up! <laughs> hey, Bob, he's sleeping with his eyes open. <laughs> There's a stop bubble. Pull yourself together, I'm begging you. Uh, the steel fist tiger. <laughs> I spilled it. Uh -huh. huh? I knocked it over! It's all my fault! Hey, look, man, it's gonna be okay. Only a cool it! Boss? Drink some water and sober your asses up! Wait, that's okay! This is bad. Boss is plastered already. Ugh. <laughs> uh, what me, man? Uh, my chopsticks! Don't worry, they'll grab you another. My chopsticks! Fresh chopsticks, please! Thank you! Hey, hey, hey! Is it really that funny? <coughs> Boss, uh, hey. Masha, I'm done for. Uh, the rest is up to you. Boss! Um, sir, are you guys okay? Honestly, I might be. Well, it's that way. Sweet, Sweet relief. relief. Everyone. Got it! Will I need to use my dagger? Who's this punk? A normal knife will do. We're gonna begin by making a sponge, okay? Please start chopping up the chocolate. <laughs> Slowly melt it at 120 to 130 degrees. <laughs> Take it easy, you amateur! You gotta be delicate with doing this shit! Give me that! This chocolate cake is mine. Hands to yourself. Damn it! Why can't I get this right? Uh. Oi, listen here! Don't touch me! This ain't fair to these honest folks. You got something to say, pal? Why do you want to make a chocolate cake so badly? There's this close associate I want to surprise. That's how you show you care on Valentine's Day! Is that a problem? Listen, the most important ingredient is this. It's your heart. Blast all those feelings into that cake, and they won't know what hit them! Uh, so you're saying aim from my heart to theirs? 
You'll hit him right where it counts. Now chill out and get baking. All right, let's bake my heart into a cake. Man, all this time, I lost sight of the goal. <laughs> Carefully, and go from the heart. How's that? Yeah, it's not the prettiest, but... Ooh. I really appreciate this, bro. What the hell? Who is this guy, anyway? Looks awfully familiar. Go knock him dead. Aim for the heart. <laughs> A little something from me to you. Boss? You don't know. Happy Valentine's Day. My first Valentine's Day chocolate this year. We're just not able to save any money. Anything my husband and I have, we end up spending. We really don't know what to do about it. Yuriko, being a housewife is new for you, right? That's not really something in my wheelhouse. But I know just who to ask. You're having money troubles, are you? I take care of balancing the family books. I can teach about hustling, ma'am. Is this guy really Miku's husband? He looks like a... yeah... yeah... no way. How's your fitness? Are you healthy? Uh, I'm not sure, really. If you're in shape, we can use that body to our advantage. My... body? I... Ashton Supermarket has beef, sprouts, and cabbages. The cheapest food on an eggs are at Haywood. Hey, put those legs to you! She's quick. Back already? You all right? You got quite a bargain on these sprouts. Yeah. I'll show you the rest of the tricks in the house. How do you feel about doing some wet work? Uh, I don't. Rub all the dishes with the tap off. Save water when you rinse them all together. Water saving shower head. Done. But I'm getting soaked. Crack down on toilet water flow. If you know where to tighten up the operation, you can save big. But if you really want to roll out the big guns, then we've got some cutting to do. My finger? I... I can't cut it. Now you come with me. Touch on chill. Slow down. Get a book and start keeping track of expenses. Cut frivolous spending out. I'm so not good at this. I don't think I can keep all of these balls in the air. Just set goals you can meet. For example, if you give up buying fancy espressos now, next year you swim with the fishes. Swim with the fishes? Always trying to save money can be a real bitch. I get it. That is why you gotta get high. Hi! Reward yourself with the little things that let you escape your troubles for a bit. Keeps your motivation up. Oh yeah, that sounds like it would be a big help. <laughs> See, running a house ain't all bad, is it? Saving money, huh? Sounds terrible. Ten catchers? No, but hurry of our shared bank balance. There was a big withdrawal recently. I didn't buy anything expensive. I wonder what it is. That sounds like a topic for a one-on-one -on -one talk, you know? Hmm. You two gotta work together as a team in this game. You gotta ask him what he's been buying lately. Honey, I'm home. Oh. Yuriko, and, uh, your guests? It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Hope you don't mind, I'm showing your missus some of my tricks. Your what now? Oh, oh, you're Miku's husband. I see. That money is... Uh, actually, the thing is, what I mean to say is... It's uh, nearly our wedding anniversary, so I thought I'd get my wife something nice. <sighs> oh, honey. I'm so happy right now. I'm sorry I suspected you. That's okay. I was keeping secrets. <laughs> Such a cute bracelet. Hey, no. Oh, don't open it yet. <laughs> I booked a place for dinner, too. No way. Thank you. That's Thank our cue. You. I'm gonna be late. I'm Miku, and I'm 26 years old. I'm a businesswoman, I love manga and video games, and I always do my best at work. Huh? Ugh. Please help me. The whole world is in great danger, Wolf. This beauty just fell from the sky? Mafia launched a surprise attack? The head of Ninkyo Group was killed, Wolf! Mafia will take over everything unless it me. That didn't take long. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Now surrender, pup! <laughs> the Mafia boss, Wolf! What? This is bad! I'm gonna get out of here, Wolf! You can't just run away from boss fights! You gotta help me transform! Oh, already. Uh, okay, take this. Mm. Star Miracle Pretty Face! I feel like I'm full of magic. Hmm. I give it a D minus. Eh? There's a number of narrative weaknesses. 
This outfit, what's the concept behind it? It's a magical girl type thing. Uh... Sure, but don't you think that's a little vague? You have these symbolic elements thrown together, but I'm still not sure what you're trying to say. Um, okay. How exactly are you planning to market this? Though, the material you use for these frills is pretty great. What the hell are you babbling about over there? Ah! Don't you know how this works? How long have you been doing this job? First, I have my transformation sequence and do my power-up thing, and once I've shown off my outfit, you start the battle. But I easily deflect your attacks. So tell me, who is the I... target audience for this project? I... If it's for children, then you shouldn't have a Yakuza as a bad guy. Uh, the parents see, would be I... shocked to see that. Don't worry, I know you can do it. We can totally make this project work. So, address all the points I made, and we can meet again next week. <laughs> Go to any toy store and say the special phrase, we're tying you up, no getting away, and you'll receive a special DVD while supplies last. This is starting tomorrow. Limited supply. Please, go get one for me. I can't go because I'll be at work. Really? You're asking me... We're tying you up, no getting away. What? Guy, uh... We're tying you up, no getting away. Say it! We're tying you up, no getting away. Again! We're getting you uh, up. Wait, uh... We're tying you up, no getting away. We're tying you up, no getting away. We're tying you up, no getting away. Got a killer price today. Cabbage is 100 yen. We're tying you up, no getting away. Cabbage, cabbage. is 100 yen. We're tying you up, no yen. getting away. No getting... I'll take one cabbage shot. Done deal. We're tying you up. Oh, hey, Tatsu. Oh. I wanted to ask you. No getting away. Come here, you punk. Sucker. Give me back my money. So, what's in the bag? Um, I'm on my way to tie up. Wait, you're tying someone up? Excuse me. Uh, 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 can I help you find something, sir? Ah, oh, crap. What was it again? I'm gonna wrap you up now. There's no escape. What? Um, I... Uh... Oh, that ain't right. I'll string you up nice and high. You can't run... We're tying you up. No getting away! Ah, uh, that's it! We're tying you up! No getting away! <sighs> um... That was a close one. Thanks for the backup. No need to thank me. If you're interested, I heard somewhere there's a phrase for a duo. And you get a rare Polycure card for teaming up. Uh, a rare card, you say? Hacha, this is amazing! That's a worthwhile mission. Well then, partner. We doing this or what? Damn right. In the name of Polycure. Get in sight. Got it. <gasps> Flying high in the sky, it's just as hard. Sky police! Boring waves, it's just a star. Cobalt police! Time for crime catch! Holy Those guys are weird. Uh, I'm so sorry, but those items sold out earlier this morning. <gasps> hey! Stay with me, kid! Hey! Hey! The way of the house husband! A buddy of mine asked if I could look after him for a little while. Kotetsu, <laughs> show Miku how cute you are, bud. Cute? Kotetsu? Come here! <laughs> yeah, good boy! <laughs> What's up, Kotetsu? No, there's too much traffic down that way. Standing your ground like a boss! Damn it! Why are you gonna be so cute? What? What the hell's he playing at? I need to know which crew this dog's running with. Boss, you okay? Get me more pictures now! Boss replied already. <laughs> Kunimi. Immortal dragon. <clears throat> this is awkward. That's a hefty dog you got there. Yeah? Your dog looks like a toasted marshmallow. Is it cool with you if I pet your dog? This dog gets your attention. She looks scary, but she's not. She's so nice and warm. She's perfect to hug. Look how squishable these fluffy cheeks are. This little baby face looks so dopey. Aww. Hey, get the car! Get in! Hey, Kumina. Where are you taking me exactly? Don't worry. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Appeal more to women and young people. I was hoping maybe you'd have some good ideas. Yeah, I might. There's a spot I have in mind. 
Other side of town, but they got a real racket going. Uh, this is hurting my eyes. Are you ready to order? Yeah, I'll take the honey bunny rainbow pancakes, please. That's the Tatsu I know. Just jumps in, no fear. And you can give me one of those fruity little beauty sorbets. Ah, so that's how you roll. Anything else? Uh, and a funky chunky peach juice surprise. What? Where'd you find that one? Other side of the menu, right there. Drink section. Really? Ah, yes, sir. If you want to do a combo, it includes a drink. We'll take the combo. All right, so I have the Honey Bunny Rainbow Pancakes with the Funky Chunky Peach Juice Surprise as a combo, and the Fruity Little Beauty Sorbet with a Creamy Dreamy Milk Tea as a combo. Uh, and two sharing plates, thanks. <sighs> Thank you, have a nice day. That's enough sweet things for a while. The, this is... Yep, but the new menu, lemon and honey marinated chicken sandwich. A chicken sandwich? It's simple and unfussy, like this joint. But the lemon and honey are gonna bring some freshness to the table. Ah. Winter, third year of high school, a country town. You're going off to college far away. You said we should break up, but you were crying. That's a big wasp on your shoulder. <coughs> are you all right? Here, drink this. Another new menu item for you. A hot and creamy chai. Just don't burn your tongue on it. Hmm. Yeah. I'm in my 20s, in India on a trip to find myself. The Ganges River, brimming with energy and the vigor of life. Stimulating, yet mystical, broadening my perception of life. I burn myself. I'm an old man now and I've burned the inside of my mouth. That's definitely going to sting tomorrow. Um, sir? Thank you, Tatsu. They're nice additions. Just going out for a little smoke break. Uh, maybe the flavors weren't balanced right. Gun smoke in the air, bullet holes. My vision stained red with blood. Miku, that's a big wasp on your shoulder. Hmm? Don't remember there being a wasp. My tooth is killing me. Hmm? Hey, Masa. Shit. Muscle definitely made me go to the dentist. I can't go down like that. Nah, of course not. Where did you even get that idea? Well, for starters, you held your cheek and said, ow. Oh, I got into a scrap yesterday. Took on, I don't know, like 50 guys. 50 people? You? I mean, might have been more. Who knows? Masa. If you don't nip that in the bud, it'll come back to bite you. Huh? If you're hiding a cavity, you're in for a world of pain. I... Nah, I'm fine. I swear, I brush them every day. You think once a day is enough to win the fight? You gotta brush after every meal, three times a day! Brush for two solid minutes every time, then finish off with floss! Job too hard? Use a power tool! Gotta show your entire mouth who's boss! Half acid and you'll get gum disease, and then it's bye-bye to those pearly whites. Do you want to be the guy who's got to wear dentures because he didn't floss? We're getting you to a dentist before it's too late. Boss, I've never told you this, but I can't go to the dentist. And you know, my reasons go back to the old days. I was just a kid. My mom was usually so strict, but one day she said, Come with me, Masa, I'll get you some candy. I was stoked because I never got sweets. But then, she led me straight to the dentist. I freaked out, just straight up lost it. I kept thinking, how could she play me like this? It was. Uh, that's it? No! Let go of that! Go to the dentist! Yeah! Get your shit together and act like a man! You win. I'll go, all right! Please, you gotta help him. He doesn't have much time. What happened to him? Tooth decay. Oh. I just need your health insurance and patient registration cards. <sighs> Next patient, please. Hmm? Masa. It's okay. We gotta face the music. You okay? Your head's bleeding. Masa, you're not alone. Feels like I'll be right behind you. Look closely. Can you see it? Peering out from between the woman's legs is a man's face. Ah, I see it, that's freaky. Huh, these creepy shows don't bother me. You sure about that? 
<sighs> I can't sleep. That kind of looks like a face. Wait, was that door open before? Okay, counting stuff supposed to make you sleepy, right? One Yakuza. Five Yakuza. One cop. Zero Yakuza. There's eight members in this gang. And ten members in this other gang. I'm guessing one survivor. This ain't working. Oh yeah, calming nature sounds are supposed to knock you out, right? There's one. Sounds of the forest. Leaves rustling in the breeze. Birds chirping. Yakuza digging a hole. Nope, not helping. Next. How about sounds of the sea? Oh. Nope, 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 nope. God damn it, can't sleep. At least one of us is out cold. Got no choice. Time to raid the stash. Glass of warm milk. Ain't much in this world better for sleeping. Warm comfort for the body and a hit of calcium to calm the nerves. That should do the... Nope. I'm going all out. If I'm going to battle, I'm bringing the big guns. Melatonin. Serotonin. Trip to fan. No point in half-assing it. Oh, yeah. Salmon with creamy walnut sauce and a side of herbal tea. I accidentally made a whole meal. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. Mm -hmm. The combination of the fatty salmon and the creamy sauce is so comforting. Hmm. Ah, that's the ticket. Hmm? <laughs> huh? What are you looking at? Well, I just think you're kind of cool. Why is that? Because you get to fly through the air and stuff. Oh, that. Uh, honestly, it gets tiring real fast, and the black kites are scary. Hey, Mr. Crow, sir, if you picked me up with your feet, do you think you could carry me? No, kid, that would hurt you. My talons are sharp. No, yeah, it'll be fine. Just try it, pretty please. Fine, but I warned you. Gotcha. Ow, get, ow. Ah, sorry, sorry. It hurt. Claws went right into me. Ow. Am I bleeding? What? I only hopped onto you. How about try grabbing the scrub of my neck more? You're the boss. Stop it already! That really hurt. You scared me. Why'd you do that? Hmm? How's this my fault? Be right there. Time to pay up, lady. What? No, there must be a mistake. Association fees, 500 yen. Sweet! We bagged half the fees already. Not too shabby. This really the kind of work they got you doing, boss? Direct request from the association, but Look, you're gonna have to learn how to shake them down, too. You got it! We're here to collect, so fork over the cash. Who the hell are you people? Keiko, stay back! Your association fees, 500 yen. What are you talking about? I don't have any debts! Time's up. Hand over the dough. Take whatever you want! Just please don't hurt my son! Here is Tatsu to collect your fees. Sure, here, if this is all I have, is it enough? Just 500 yen. Take a hint, boss. You really ain't cut up for this kind of work. <laughs> Stack's getting pretty thick. So, uh, are you sure this place is on the list? Let's find out. All right, boys, talk. What do you want with me? We're here for your association fee. And you're dressed like that? Are you shitting me? Do you assholes know what kind of place you walked into? Huh? Sorry, I told him we shouldn't come in here, but he wouldn't listen to me. It was an honest mistake. I don't know what it is you're trying to pull here. But you really don't want to see what happens when you fuck with us. And you don't want to see what happens when you mess with the association. They put up those nets to keep the crows out of your garbage. They help run all the special events during festivals. They plant all those beautiful tulips in the common area. The festivals? The tulips? All taken care of by the association. How much? 500. Got any change? No, sorry. You? Well, I got 200. Do you got any change? Hell yeah. Take it to the back. Miku? The hell kind of nonsense is this? If you find a special ticket inside these bread snacks, you win a limited edition polycure plate. It's the Yamapon Bread Festival. These ain't gonna fit in the freezer. So what are you gonna do with all this grub? Volume means victory here, boys. It's a numbers game, and I'm gonna win. I get what you mean, but isn't this excessive? I know the risks, but I'm still gonna fight. Oh.
I'm especially... Whew. Well, that's that. Mm -hmm. I can't go on. I failed my mission. You're done? We can't let it end like this. We got your back, sis. Don't worry. <laughs> Miss Curry Brett's sick. You gotta start with the light stuff to avoid indigestion. Don't fill up on water. Only a few small sips. You gotta keep up a good rhythm. <laughs> These ordinary people and their festivals. What are they, masochists? I'm sorry. Forgive me, sis. I'm spent. No, is this the end? But Cobalt Police. <clears throat> Flavor hacks. You made a fruit sandwich out of chocolate bread? Wow, it looks like heaven. For real? Dude, nice. The acidity will balance out the flavors. How about we stuff this steamed bread with some bacon and cheese and pop it in the oven? Now you got a bacon and cheese loaf. Check out that thick bacon. And that smooth cheese. <laughs> Last but not least, sliced bread pizza crumb. It doesn't even look like bread anymore. Why does it, does it seem, seem like, like they're multiplying? multiplying? You know you want some. Hey. Um. <laughs> so good! Let's go! I've got some miles left in me! Um. We needed something with rich flavor. Eating dry food is a tough act to swallow. Yeah, piece of cake! Need bigger, bigger pants. pants. The dice have been cast. Will the goddess once again smile upon me? We'll see. Adios. Nobody's following me, right? If anyone finds out, I'm done for. You're so cute! Compose yourself, you fool! Hey there, welcome. May I take your bag so you can jump right in? The immortal dragon! Tatsu, why are you here? Miss Tori, I work here part-time. We offer a 30-minute session, a one-hour session, or Enough. an unlimited... Who do you think I am? Unlimited, obviously. We've got some real cuties up for grabs. Really? Big Tuna Tetsu. Cougar Claws to Keshi. Akari the Swift Paw. This shit goes pretty fast, so you'll want to take advantage while we got it. It'll bring all the kitty cats to the yard. You're quite the chatterbox, aren't you? Hand over the entire stash you've got right now! No, uh, there's just one bag. <laughs> I see the glint in your junky little eyes. Jews, you can't help yourself. You're hopelessly addicted. Don't worry, Mommy's got the good stuff. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I can't resist the temptation. Ma'am, excuse me. I think you've had quite enough. I can quit when I want. What's that one story? This cat was astray. So far, he's had a difficult time getting close to people. So, you're a lone wolf, I see. No, ma'am, it's a cat. For some reason, you remind me of my late husband. That one only was true green foxtail. Perfect tease. I spare no expense in here. Give it to me now! I'm feeling a little peckish. You're the most endearing little thing I've ever seen. I'm so grateful. Wait a minute, ma'am. Where do you think you're going? This is a private matter, so don't interfere. But the cat belongs here. We expect Typhoon number seven to make landfall this evening and continue throughout the night. Some regions are predicted. Looks like the wind's really picked up. Showing your face? That sucker's got a lot of nerve. We better be prepared. For the battle of our lives! This might be a long and grueling fight. We gotta hurry up and gather all the supplies we have. I had off from work today, too. I wanted to go to the theme park. Roller coasters, haunted houses, and Ferris wheels. This typhoon changed up all our plans. You'll pay for this, you son of a bitch! Who are you talking to? How dare you? You think you can just waltz in here and invade our turf? You picked a fight with the wrong family! Whoa! Are you okay? This wind is... Hotshot! Get back, Miku! It's a surprise attack! Will you get inside already? It's dangerous! Man, unbelievable. Roof tiles are hazardous. It's one of their old tricks. I should've saw it coming. Oh, it's Masa. 
Boss, you there? What's happening? What are you doing? Are you outside right now? I just stepped out to buy some croquettes. I was gonna stop by and share them with you. How could you be outside right now in these conditions? What the hell is wrong with you? Typhoon's always giving me cravings and croquettes. Oh, shit. Masa? Masa, answer me. Are you okay? Wait, what happened? They caught Masa. You can't go out in this. It's not safe. I can't leave him to fend for himself. He'll never survive. Forgive me! I love you, Miku! Tachan! Your raincoat! The best place to get croquettes around here is definitely Kiwami Meats. Hey, what's up? You alright? Are you hurt, Masa? Tell me what they did to you! Here, take one. You really got a hankering for croquettes, huh? I got plenty! Oh. Get your ass out here already. What? I don't give a shit about that. Fuck this typhoon! Ah. Delicious bread at your fingertips in a can! No cooking prep, keep seven years! Slap a croquette on that baby for a mouth-watering apocalyptic sandwich! What? Fruit you out of the giraffe, you milk? All you did was put it on bread! But damn, it's a perfect match for the sweetness of that juicy meat inside! Yes, sir! That's Kawami Meat's croquette for ya! The way of the house husband! Don't you dare move. I'm gonna bash your brains in with this. Like that, huh? Yeah! Don't you? <laughs> yeah. What are you looking at? You're up next! Okay, let's put down the rock. Look, there's a river here. Apparently there's a ton of hiking trails around here, too. The sky's the limit when it comes to this lawless land. We can manipulate it however we want. <laughs> That's right. Burn, baby, burn, burn! You got this! Pull it up, sis! Fine! That hurts! Man, that was more like fish. Now, speak to me, my friend. Miku! Miku, stop! You're doing it wrong! Hey, boss. I got to the fish forest. Is that okay? Ugh. No! That's premium kosher hikari rice! I'm so sorry, I'll go see if anyone will share the rice with us! Hey there, excuse me. What do you think is about quietly listening to the voices of nature? Being near a fire is calming, because wherever there's warmth, there's relaxation. I mean, one of the staples of camping is lighting a fire. Did you spot us some rice? <laughs> Pretty pathetic, Tatsu. T Tora, what do you want? Your boy showed up on my turf and he was looking to make a deal. So here's the goods. Just as promised. I don't want any debts. Masa, get me the white stuff for our friend. This should seal the deal. <laughs> is that all you were planning on having for dessert, marshmallows? Camping isn't just about roasting shit on skewers, fool. Check out this multi-purpose grilling press. Just load up your bread with bananas and chocolate, then toss those marshmallows on top. A marshmallow chocolate banana sandwich. Simple, easy, and grilled to perfection. <laughs> Marshmallow is so creamy. The banana fits perfectly with it. You said that piece of trash is multi-purpose. It doesn't hold a candle to this. That's some old-school camping cookery shit. Roasting, boiling, steaming, and frying. You name it, and this beauty will ace it. Made with today's catch, an aquapazza. How impressive and chic. Dude, amazing. Doesn't have a fishy smell or anything. Kinda, Kinda wish it was grilled with salt, salt though. Try our tasty crepes today. Hey, man. Uh, I'd like one doodle crepe, please. Huh? Oh, you want a doodle crepe? Well, what do you want me to draw? Uh, could you draw a coke ball, please? What? You know, the main heroine from the show Crime Catch Politics. Sorry, my guy, but you're gonna have to speak louder than that. Cobalt police from the show Crime Catch Polichar. She's the main heroine and her color scheme is blue, so that's why her name is oh, Cobalt. right. Yeah, I totally get it. You got a picture or something? Oh, like an anime? Animation director said blood, sweat, and tears to rise from the lower ranks, and that's only after they secured a rock solid set of scales. So, I just gotta draw the eyes big, right? How dare you? You don't call me the Crepe Master for nothing! I'll show you exactly what I'm made of! Here! Thank you for waiting! Our Women's Club participates in local events, charities, and fundraisers. It's all about meeting new friends and having fun. And you want me to join? Is that it? We've noticed that other groups have quite a few men. So we decided that we'd start admitting male members to our club as well. There are eight women's clubs in town, and the leaders are having an executive board meeting today. We're called the Eight Dragons. The Eight Dragons. 
So, what you're saying is we're gonna go raid the Eight Dragons. No, I'd just like to introduce you. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping the Eight Dragons will agree to a change in protocol so men will be able to join for us. Sup, ladies? <laughs> The bargain bin is my battleground, and I never lose. Household budgeting bought me a bin. Play golf? What's your top score? Hit me up for the latest gossip on the streets. Any skeletons in your closet? Neighborhood cleanup is thrilling, because I love taking out the trash. You better not be pushing up daisies around me. Looking for volunteer work? That's my jam, baby. The Fukuja family line spans four centuries, and I'm the appointed chairwoman of this meeting. So these ladies are the eight dragons. They ain't amateurs, that's for sure. Every single one is a seasoned housewife. So you're here because Chono recommended you? <laughs> kind of young, aren't we? What are your credentials? I'm a full-time house husband based in Katachi Cho. The name's Tatsu. It's an honor to be here! A full-time house husband? Hmm. Well, Tatsu, I hope you wouldn't mind serving us ladies some tea. No, not at all. Enjoy! Tell a sponge cake. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All she did was arrange some flowers. But the whole entire room suddenly transformed from drab to fab! Hey, I thought I'd welcome our guests by lining the tables with some refined flowers. Surely anyone could handle such a simple task. <sighs> Regarding your admission into the women's club, Tatsu, it's a no from me. I'm sorry, but that's my final word and nothing will change it. <sighs> you lack refinement, and your abilities aren't up to snuff. Blood, sweat, and tears, I'm prepared to dedicate myself to this organization! I beg you to guide me and teach me your ways, Sister Kitagawa! You want me to train you? You wish to learn refinement and grace? Come to my flower arrangement class, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Saturdays. Daytime classes start at 1 o'clock, evening classes at 6. There are three types of courses, multiple skill levels. <laughs> Channel its life! Don't kill it! They're both bold and delicate! Listen when they speak to you! Allow them to win over your heart! Become one with them in spirit and mind! <sighs> well, well. There is no doubt in my mind. He is definitely a changed man. Just look at each and every gesture he makes. It's truly a splendid sight. My, what lovely flowers. Yes. What are they, I wonder? These right here are seasonal roses. Wow, they're beautiful. They represent the great force of a backhoe as it smashes into your rival's headquarters. Nice. Really? This magnificent bouquet made of poppies and miscanthus is my personal favorite. The turmoil I felt for my comrades during raids has been imbued into this piece. Hmm. Interesting. The concept of this particular arrangement is a rising dragon. His approach is quite unusual. It's rough, but I understand the intention. It resembles a rising dragon. You've shown commitment. You are a house husband. She's changed her tune. You have my consent. I welcome you to the women's club, Tatsu. Well, then, our newest member is Tatsu. Therefore, from here on out, you shall be known as Tatsu the Table Setter. Table? Well, uh, right! Hold it right there, Gokudan. You're coming with us. Hands up! You want to arrest me? You two better be carrying a warrant then. Bro, you've been caught red-headed. <sighs> Tachan, can I ask a favor? Sure thing. Okay. One of my friends has a kid who's a huge Polycure fan. Look, I bought you a copy of Besties. Do you want to read it? I want to go home already, Mom. It's only five more days, sweetie. Look, there's a chapter of Polycure in here. I'm never gonna get better, am I? I almost forgot. A special visitor is coming to see you today. <gasps> Excuse me, ladies. Uh, wrong room? 
Wow, look who's here. Gokudan came to visit you, Maho. Hello, I'm Gokudan. Pleasure to meet you. So, I, uh, I brought this stash for the girl. No way, are you serious? That's from the Mafia Marshi fruit collection. I used the coupon code. You didn't have to go to all that trouble. Thank you. Here you go. Help yourself. Aw, they're so cute. Thank you. They're like bunnies. I'd like you to have this too, ma'am. Really? It looks so soft. How fresh. Uh, okay. Hold it right there, Chocodon! What? Strad, it's that polycure! Polycure's here! Rico? Hey! Oh! So you're packing heat as well, I see. You're good, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> you thought you won. I better finish you off quickly before one of your fans shows up to cheer you on. Hey, before one of your fans shows up to cheer you on! Oh, go on, Maho. Cheer for Polycure. Oh, uh, you can do it, Polycure. Feel the thrust of justice! No, so this is your true power when one of your fans cheers you on! How? How can I be defeated by Polycure? <laughs> You did it, Maho! Yeah. Ahem. Excuse me. The overall narrative works, but the progression moves along too fast. Cleaning up the blood during the fight completely ruins the pacing. Total turnoff. You looked at Maho when you mentioned the cheering, didn't you? I get it, but you put too much pressure on her. You basically forced her into it. Plus, you know this is a hospital, right? Uh, sorry. We, uh... Yeah. <laughs> An autumn breeze blows. I take the wrong route running errands for my wife. Nice. Interesting. Exquisite as always, sir. What do you think of that, Tatsu? I bet you never thought you'd enjoy my haiku compositions. I knew it was a good idea to bring him here today. I'll show him what I'm made of. <clears throat> a metal barrel. Six deep under the water of the Japan Sea. What? A metal barrel? Hmm. Well, I suppose the ocean is becoming so polluted that he's reminiscing Here's about... Here's another one. A gray and moonlit raid done on a mid-autumn night with all the boys here. Wait a minute, did he just say raid? Mm, well, at least it's moonlit. Uh. Cold waterboarding, when the boss is not content to dip in the pond. Deep in the mountains, black suits rustle bamboo leaves, cutting through so quick. Neck deep in this debt, I'd rather take a bullet. Say, why don't we take a little break, Tatsu? All right? Hmm? On an autumn night. Whoa! Aren't you the bears? Huh? Oh, it's been a long time, brother. I know. What are you doing out here? We run a very prestigious haiku club called the Sparrows. Oh, so you're bards as well. We've been immersed in the poetry world lately, and our skills are top-notch. Now then, care to dish it out in a haiku battle? Dragonflies flutter so high in the sky above, aren't they just so cute? Damn! You nailed it, boss! They're fluttering, all right! Hell yeah! Dragonflies flutter? Let me handle this. Crimson dragonflies are really rather scary in such large numbers. They're right, they're scary. Stupid bugs. See, your boss ain't got nothing on pop. You think that piece of shit beats dragonflies flutter? They're sure getting into this, aren't they? In the prime of youth, school is done not yet at home. Egg this couple on. Woo! Kids are ready. Yeah, baby. Yeah! Check out this cricket. It's surprising how creepy it looks in real life. This cricket is so creepy, I just shit myself. You're the master at this. Oh, this is torture. I can't go on. I'm so done. These haikus suck. Let it go, man. The pads of your paws. So bulbous, fleshy, and round are quite disturbing. <laughs> yes! The way of the house husband. You're only two pounds of cordless, but oh so powerful. You wipe out creases like they're nothing. Stealthy and stylish. That steam feels good, doesn't it? You like it when I use this baby, don't you? Keep going. Don't stop, sweetie. Smooth out those folds. You're almost there. <sighs> Done. What on earth? Well, I heard something around my lower back. I think I've been shot. Sounds like you threw your back out. <laughs> Me? Throw my back out? What a joke! I know this pain. There's no doubt in my mind that I've been sniped. 
No, it's pretty obvious you've strained your back. Ugh. I'm the immortal dragon. I can take a bullet and walk it off. Don't underestimate my strength. Yeah, you're done. What are you doing? Stop it. I got this. Here, let me do it. Nope, I'm fine. Go lay down now. I can't. This has to get done. But while you're standing there, can you rub my back a little bit, please? You know, I can't remember where I heard this, but in Germany, a strained back is called a witch shot. Pretty badass, huh? What? That sounds worse than being sniped. Don't worry. I'll make lunch for us, okay? Uh, no, wait a minute. They say the best thing for a strained back is to do the things that you normally do. I can't stomach shots from a witch and be cool. Ugh. Looks like we have no other choice. We're just gonna have to call for delivery. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Can I get a cheeseburger? Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, can you make that a combo? This takes me back. Hmm? Remember the last time I leaned on you? I'll never forget that first time. I think I technically carry... What now? What kind of scrap did you get into this time? Must have been pretty rough to come out this busted up. Yeah, I messed up big time, Shike. Help me. I threw out my back. Wait, that's it? You gotta help me. You're the only one I can trust with this. Please, Shige. <sighs> we ain't got a choice. Pain relief patches! Exactly one week's worth! The way of the house husband. Miku, look. Apparently there's some perv hanging out around the neighborhood. It's in today's newsletter. Really? Like we don't have enough to worry about. And now this? Tachan, can you teach me some self-defense? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, let's say somebody grabs your arm, like this. Got it. Who the hell do you think you are coming onto my turf? Don't you even think about messing with me or my crew, or you're gonna lose more than a couple fingers! Got it, dickhead? So how are you gonna apologize, huh? Okay, okay. That's not what I meant. How did it get so late? Hey, sis, what are you doing out so late? Ah! Ah! Sis, it's me! Ah! Stop! Wait, 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 it's me, it's me, it's Masa! Please stop hitting it's Masa, I swear, it's Masa. Huh? It's Masa. Masa? Hey, wanna play? Don't lie to me! Sis, why you gotta do me dirty like this? Man, business is slow today. Huh? Look! Over there! It's the donut truck everyone's talking about! Three double chocolates, please. All right, next customer, please. What'll it be, ma'am? What the hell? That place swipes all my customers. Wait a minute. It can't be. Koharu? Well, 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 if it isn't my annoying brother. A donut food truck? You can't be serious, Koharu! That's right, lovely donuts. Fast, cheap, and cute as hell. They're a huge hit with the younger crowd. What are you so bent out of shape about anyway? You're the one who left home to live a life of crime! Sorry, I'd like a donut, please? Sure thing! Thank you! She's fast! Compared to your food truck, I'm in a different league! What did you say? This is a franchise at the lovely Donuts Company. Its headquarters is in none other than Silicon Valley! What? You mean you've got big business backing you too? Can I get four glaze, please? Of course! I'd like three chocolate, please! You got it! It's all about that lovely donut secret intel. <sighs> I can dole out pre-made high-quality donuts at lightning speed and rock-bottom prices! It's a whole different ballgame compared to your wannabe food truck. Excuse me. I'd also like to buy one donut, please. Wait, Tatsu? Hmm. As expected. Hmm? I could tell right away that something was missing from this donut. What the hell are you talking about? You got a problem with what Lovely Donuts has to offer? Yo, Tora, can I use your truck? What for? It smells delicious, too. Here, have a taste. Huh, look at this poor excuse for a donut. It's nothing but plain and boring. Delicious! Crispy on the outside, fluffy and warm on the inside! There's a buttery aroma that adds a sweet richness, too! Compared to yours, mine seem oily and soggy and barely have any aroma, either. You hardly did anything. When you cook on the spot, you give your clientele's full five senses a thrill. That's not easily achieved if it's factory made. There's no doubt when you put quantity over quality, you can cut costs and sell things a lot cheaper. But only carefully, individually crafted foods offer great taste and the feeling of love that's put into homemade cooking. This donut has absolutely none of those things! Please! <laughs> Gohara, are you okay? The truth is, when we were kids, I 
really loved those donuts that we used to eat together. That's where all this began, from that unforgettable memory. Where did I want it was my brother to acknowledge his sister? No! Koharu! Koharu! Are you still selling donuts? Koharu! <sighs> Why is it so chilly today? Miku, come on, it's time to get up. Mm. What the hell is all this? What? What's the matter? Oh, where? Whoa! Look at all this snow! Look at all this condensation! Seriously? Condensation can lead to mold if we don't take care of it fast. When these punks invade your turf, the only thing you can do is wipe them out. My weapon of choice is none other than this squeegee! <laughs> this was a steal at only 400 yen. Look at it tear through these drops like they're nothing. Dean, this is your first snow, isn't it? Not in the house. Well, since it's snowing out, I'm gonna head to work early. Be careful not to slip and fall. It's gonna snow again later today, so I should take care of the shopping now. <laughs> Be careful, boss! This is impossible! It's too slippery! Shut up! Quit your whining, you babies! Huh? The fuck you looking at? <laughs> Idiots, on these babies grip into ice patches and bite into hard snow so you don't slip and fall. No way, boss! You look more stable! You can't get anything accomplished with this little piece of shit. I know a hardware dealer who can set you up with the goods. Hey, man, thanks for waiting. Huh? What the... Feast your eyes on the sleigh shovel! What? what? Is that like, like a, a snowplow? Snow Use a shovel to load it up little by little. Once you get a good haul, dump all that in one fell swoop. Damn. Right. No way! Collect and move with this baby and you'll never go back. Later, my dudes. Don't catch a cold. All right. Looks like we're done here. What? We're done when I say we're done. Eat this! Yeah! Ah! It's actually toasty in here. Yeah, baby. This popcorn's looking mighty fine. It's pretty easy to make popcorn in a frying pan, huh? Yeah. All you need is some butter, salt, and dried chili powder. For caramel, you just need water and sugar. I love the sound of popcorn. Yeah, it brings back memories of an onslaught. Alrighty, folks. It's time for us to decide. What are we gonna watch for our very first screening party? Present your pick! All began. Or how about Crime Catch Polycure House Search Max? This one right here is Crime Catch Polycure Mobster Star. Aren't these three all the same? Uh, you've got to be kidding. So you're at least familiar with Crime Catch Polycure, but it also revolutionized the concept of morning slot TV programming. House Search Max is the follow-up season. It introduced new officers to the Polycure team, which helped make the series incredibly popular. The third season is Mobster Star, where our two Polycure heroines climb the ranks to executive positions. They battle against ruthless managers so, uh, and a fierce you got, boss? To Well, I'm glad you asked. Who doesn't recognize Torasan and It's Tough Being a Man? Oh yeah, that one's great! Right here is It's Tough Being a Man Continued. Next there's It's Tough Being a Man, A New Era. It's Tough Being a Man, Pure Love Edition, The Wistful Longing Edition, all spoofs of real film titles in the series. Journey of the Heart, Youth, A Sojourn Overseas, A Returning Traveler, A Proposal, A Proposal Part 2, A Proposal, A New Era. Again, spoofs on actual titles. Hey, uh, they're all the same. Why so many? Are you stupid or something? Can't you see that the protagonist gets more and more dignified? By the way, the ninth episode in season three was written by a now famous screenwriter named Takahashi due to its remarkably innovative content immediately after the episode aired. Both of you are bragging so much about your choices that it's making me not want to watch either of them. I might not look like it, but I have extremely broad taste. So leave it up to me. Yakuza versus Anaconda! Yakuza versus Angry Ghost! Yakuza versus Drag! Different genres. The stories are kind of like, well, they're maybe, uh... They're different, all right? Trust me on this one! We're going with Polycure. No, it's tough being a man. Not because of whatever! We're at least counting yours out, Masa. What? Why? Finally, in order to accommodate everyone, we're gonna watch The Lion Queen. Sure. That's fine. They've given up. Oh, actually... Do you want to watch the dub or the subbed version? Dubbed, of course. Subbed only. But I want to focus on the visuals. I don't really like these voice actors. The performances of the original voice actors are better. I never should have asked. Come on.
hung out with Jackie boy. Check out this fresh shit I got for you. I know my friend from work asked me to look after their hamster, but with Gein here. Uh. Yeah, we can't keep this little guy here. A hamster? Look at this cute little guy. For you, boss, of course I'll take him in. I wonder what kind of grub hamsters eat. I've got 500 yen this month. Should be enough, right? Uh, no. This little fella ain't got nowhere to go. Boss, can I ask you for a f First, he's gotta get Pinky's approved. Capiche? Looky, looky, Pinky Poo. It's a nice hammy hamster. <laughs> Pinky! I'm sorry, Tatsu. If you ever betray Pinky, then you can never live here. Sorry about all this, Jackie boy. Why don't you chow down on these fresh greens I got you? Hmm? Mind if we have a little chat? What have you got there, sir? It's the force. You can't take it or wrestle him out of my arms. I'll protect this thing with my life. Arms? Is he armed? He could whip out his piece at any moment. Hold it right there. Drop your weapon. Do it. Stay back, everyone. This man is dangerous. All right. Hand it over now. Is this what the hell is going on here? It's adorable. Explain yourself now. Let me introduce Jack the Hamster. I'm actually looking for someone to take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Well, sir, I'll gladly. Sir, I'll take him off your hands. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, Tatsu. Hey, that crepe guy's back again. How's the crepe base tour? I got a hold of some unreal shit, man. What buck, huh? I thought you might like to have a taste, too. You understand I can't show you that here. Meet me on the mountainside this weekend. Mister, can I get a chocolate crate, please? This shit's nuts, bro. Yeah, incredible. You feel it, right? Bro, what the hell is this thing? Your boy's got a sweet tent sauna right next to the river. I like it. Barely anyone knows about this place. Nice and secluded. Work up a good sweat in here and then cool off in the river out there. If you can continue the cycle, the borders surrounding you begin to blur. You become one with nature. Idiot. This is why you called me out here? To sit in the sauna? Well, you look at that. My brother actually does have friends. That's surprising. Yo, Tora. I think it's time. Oh? Well, you better brace yourselves. Lulu time! Lulu? The fins throw water on hot stones to produce steam, but I added a scented touch to the mix. Oh, it smells like lemon. I'm sweating like crazy. A man with a towel like this to hide the effects of this shit. What are you, chicken? That's nowhere near enough steam. Check out this, you wuss. There's not enough room in here. Stop. What the? That hurts. <laughs> 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 I'm not done. I can go on. I ain't giving up yet. Whoa, dude. What's happening? Embrace it, man. Feel it. Talk to this a special sale going on today. You can't pass this up. I heard that great place over there is really good. Let's go. Wait for me. I want to go too. Yeah, same. Wake the hell up! Ah, that's nice. Totally. It's nice to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city sometimes. Being in solitude and surrounded by nature is pretty damn special. The campfire becomes more and more complex as the night approaches. It's warmth so comforting and relaxing. Glenfiddich single malt whiskey. Aged 12 whole years. It's got a clean aftertaste and a mature cask aroma. Once this baby hits your throat... Gorgeous. I may have had a little too much to drink last night, but I feel amazing. All I need is some good eats, and I'll be good to go. Coffee is the one thing I can't do without. Love that sound. Ah, now that smells like heaven. Oops, poured too much. Yeah, that's all right. Ow, fuck! <laughs> Babe, what are you doing? They're planning a golf outing with some clients at work, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never played before. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it, Miku. 
When it comes to golf, I'm a hole in one. I'll teach you. Seriously? Thank you. Back in the day, I'd golf all the time with my former boss. Nice shot. Nice shot. Whoa, this place is huge. It's a little intimidating. Playing golf sure brings back memories. Are you sure this is a good place for me to start out? The best way to train is to dive headfirst into the real thing. Have you really played golf or did you make that up? I did. You know what they say, Yakuza equals golf, right? That's not a real saying. Your first weapon of choice is called a driver. You want to space your feet a dagger's length apart. Put your left foot behind the ammo. Stare that sucker down and don't take your eyes off it for a second or it's all over. Keep your head absolutely still, even if you get hit. What are you talking about? Remember to continuously rotate your hips. Just relax and whack the shit out of it. Whoa! That looked like a strong hit that didn't go far at all. Exactly. Clip further than the boss. Ever. Seriously? I remember one time this rookie shot it further than our boss. He totally got his head smashed in. You gotta whack the ball with just the right force to not make it obvious you're letting the boss win or it could be the end of your life. All right already. Okie dokie, got my feet comfortably apart. <laughs> nice shot! Remember to shout nice shot after one of the higher ups has their turn. Shout it from your diaphragm. What's any of this got to do with golf? It's approximately 50 yards, then account for the two meter easterly wind. Put a spin on that sucker, make it look like it's gonna land on the green. And that one is wet, perfect. What kind of technique is that? <laughs> That's the ticket, nice shot! <laughs> What are we doing now? Act like you're inspecting the condition of the grass. You know what they say, dry for show and putt for dough. The only kind of sayings the boss really liked were about money. But don't even think about sinking the ball before the boss does. Or else by nightfall, you'll be sinking in the ocean. Whatever. Like this? Uh, uh, so close! Wait, watch out! So watch your step or you'll lose your legs. Got it. Let's not forget you owe the big guy. You haven't lost your edge, have you? Seriously, who do you think I am? All right, let's take down these bamboo shoots. Oh, bamboo shoot! Watch out, here it comes! You really got some nerves showing up here, you know that? Ah! Shut up, you dumbass! Full-grown bamboo shoots like these are so bitter you can't possibly eat them. Forgive me! If it's peeking out just a little when you put your foot next to it, then you're good! This bitch is so ripe, I can taste it. Just look at it! That's the kind of skills you get with the Immortal Dragon! Don't hold back! Aim for the green ones! Hurry! They're over here! Ready your weapons! Let's go! Don't let them get away! Uh, looks like we got quite a haul already, huh? Uh... <laughs> hey, punk. Are you swiping someone else's stash on their turf? Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 Once I call my boys, you're done! Hey, stop! Go back here, you little bastard! What the hell is that idiot doing now? All right. How many did we bring back? Is that it? Afraid so. How could we possibly be raided on the boss's own turf? All we got left is this single shoot. The fuck are you gonna make up for this? Wait a minute. I've got an idea, and I think it'll work. So... How did the operation go today, boys? Tatsu? I already cooked it up for you, boss. Here, enjoy. Oh, mixed rice, clear soup, and a savory custard. It certainly looks delicious. You must have gotten a good haul. Uh, yeah. Huh. Huh? A little light on the bamboo, wouldn't you say? Oh, I hadn't noticed. The way of the house, husband. Hey there, Chan. What's going on? Nice to see you, Tatsu. What's that crazy smell? Got some new stash in the back or something? Yeah, unbelievable stuff. I had it sent here directly from its place of origin. It's kind of hot in here. I smell it, too. You get it now? This is no ordinary Chinese joint. And it's got a secret menu, too. You got that right. An exquisite blend of homemade ingredients concocted by yours truly. Check out my brand new ultra spicy Szechuan hot pot. Yeah, that does look spicy. It's spicier than anything in Japan. If you can finish it, it's free of charge. You got balls. Must have used some pretty intense happy dust. Free of charge? Lucky us. Piece of cake.
Your time limit is 30 minutes. Ready, go! Torture! Dying! We're all getting beat down by the chili and Szechuan pepper! But behind this complex blend of spices is a delicious umami flavor! More, more, I want more! I can't stop! <laughs> Help! I need water! Master, go to it, man. You'll regret it. Just put it down! Water isn't gonna wash away the spice. The only thing it does is spread it around your mouth more! Whoa. <laughs> well, guess I'm done. I won't let you get away with it! I'm gonna finish you off once and for all! You bastard. So that's how you want to play. It's payback time! He sure is blowing hard, isn't he? Yo, champ. Fetch me a big old bowl of rice, would you? What? You serious? Don't come crying to me afterwards. I see. You're countering the spice with the rice. <laughs> Too much rice. Full. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Huh? That meal was delicious. Thank you very much. What? No way! You finished the entire pot? You created a well-balanced blend of spices and pepper with the other seasonings. The sensations were not only to flavor with the hot pot. This added variety to the spice mix, so it was always a new experience until the very end. Since the opportunity to appreciate such fine cuisine is enough to satisfy me, I feel as though it would not be right to do so free of charge. I'm amazed you could still speak. The way of the house husband. Uh, uh, what now? Shut up! What the hell is bothering me? Let me in, little pig. House inspection time. Oh, hey, boss. You surprised me. I was just passing by. You doing your chores properly? What stinks? What do you mean? It's fine. I guess moisture does build up on the porch. Come on in. I'll make us some tea. It's tidy in here, but it stinks. Really? Are you sure? Holy shit, it stinks. You're totally exaggerating, bro. Nope, this really stinks. Ugh. Shut up! No, it doesn't! Damp shoes by the door, trash left in the sink, drying clothes inside. When all of these forces combine together and gang up on you, you got a tricky fight on your hands. I got shit that'll help us turn this battle around. You like herbs? You got some green? Where'd you get all this? At the store, man. You wanna cook up some of the best sauce out there? Mix baking soda with herb oil. No way, dude! It's your special trick! Everything's better mixed with happy dust! And if you buy a ribbon around the container, it looks pretty cute. Oh. Watch this. You can do more with herbs than just mix them with happy powder. You can tie them together to make a room, right? Yeah, sure. Yours is really cute, too. I like it. Well, it's not as cute as yours by a long shot. <laughs> In the bedroom, we'll put up a lavender wreath. Dang, that smells so nice. Lavender helps to ease tension and anxiety. It calms the nerves so you can relax and sleep well. We'll put blue ice in the bathroom. Ah, oh, this one smells awesome too. I'm impressed. Cypress has a spicy and woody evergreen scent that makes you feel like you're deep within a forest. Peppermint is gonna go in the kitchen. It's like a cornucopia of scents in here. Its cool fragrance helps to refresh and revitalize the atmosphere. It can also help alleviate upper respiratory infections. Uh, oh. It's a cockroach. The hell? <laughs> Don't you worry. Peppermint also acts as an insect repellent. It'll even make that pesky black bull a coward in fear. Come here. What are you doing? These guys show off a lot. Right. Muscle. Don't move a muscle! Oh, oh missed it. Well, air circulation is important. I've been obsessed with needle felting lately. That's adorable. So what's this needle felting? You can transform wool into anything you want by using a barbed needle. So it's like getting ink work done, huh? No. Maybe you might like this as a gift. Where is it? It's not here. There's supposed to be a kitty cat set. Excuse me, ma'am, but would you happen to be looking for this? What? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I be interested in such a childish item? There are only two left. All right, fine. Guess I'll have to look after this little one myself. <laughs> Wait a minute. How dare you just walk away from me like that? You put this thing in my hands or you're going to teach me how to properly make it. <laughs> Look, I'm no stranger to needles, so I wouldn't underestimate me if I were you. Yeah, that's fair. So how's yours going? Why don't you let me fix it for you? Keep your filthy mitts off, my little one! I'm not done yet. Do you honestly think I'd call this finished? Sorry, ma'am. Forgive me, I shouldn't have said that.
That's all right, Tatsu. However, please help me. His speed is unlike anything I've ever seen. He's using different needles for each section. He's invented a whole new approach to this craft. This is truly the immortal dragon. He's like a skilled hunter on the prowl for his prey. All right. What do you think? How's this look? Uh, Mel? Like the body next. <laughs> it took some time, but I finally have this adorable cutie pie in my hands. Ah, you're my little one forever and always, Hanako. Uh, I actually managed to finish one for Mikko, too. <gasps> Unbelievable. The way of the house husband! Hey there. Ow! That hurt. There, there. It's all right. Don't be scared. Well, that's okay. I know you're just scared. Thanks. You're not so bad. Ow! It began on a night like this. Not even a year had passed since I joined the company. I was working late at the office, preparing some documents for a presentation the next day. A sense of fear suddenly washed over my entire body, and I began to panic. I couldn't move. My limbs were frozen. I was so scared and broke out in a cold sweat. I tried to scream, somebody help me! But no one was around. I didn't know how much time had passed. My computer was completely frozen. The sun was rising and I had run out of time. Hang on a sec, sis. Before you continue... about That was totally scary. Nah, what I meant was we should tell ghost stories. Honestly, I shouldn't be telling anybody this story because you'll have nightmares for the rest of your life. Back home, this older guy told me a crazy ghost story years ago. There's a building in my hometown that everyone believes is haunted. A bunch of dudes walk through the place on a dare. It was, uh, what do you call it? You know, when, uh, the building isn't, uh, it's not being used. Like, uh, what's it called? Ah, abandoned. Once they got inside, they were walking down this narrow corridor. One of the guys started shaking and said, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. Even though it was the middle of summer, another dude said, pull yourself together, bro. And he shined his, uh, what do you call it? You know, the, the thing with the button and you press and the light comes on. Then, all of a sudden, behind his friend, he saw, ah, what's it called? One of those, you know, the girls with the long hair wearing one of those nightgowns that kind of looks like a sheet. There was something off about this girl. She was as tall as, what would you say? Like as tall as, uh... I think about as tall as a basketball player. Yeah, that's it. And suddenly she was on her hands and knees, like, you know, like an animal. Then uh, everyone was like, whoa, all chaotic, like, there was some insane crazy shit. When they came to, it was morning. Uh, what's it called? They woke up in one of those places where cars are standing still. Sorry, but I don't really get it. I just don't understand the story. What was the second part? Only my turn. This is a story involving a curse and crabs. It happened just the other day. The rain outside tapped gently on the windows. I had dozed off on the table, and I heard some lively music and a loud announcer coming from the TV. Delicious milk crabs, fresh from Hokkaido. Order now and free to be yours for the low, low price of 10,000 yen. The sinews in my neck seized up as though I had a gun pointed at me. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. I started getting the shakes from withdrawal. I thought I could quell the urge, but then... I don't believe it! Due to a price freeze, we're throwing in one extra crab for you! Call now! It was truly terrifying. Before I knew it, I had fallen back into my old habits. A few days later, the goods arrived at my doorstep. I could barely contain my excitement about eating them, but when I opened the freezer to ice those babies, I noticed something strange. I found some frost-covered food storage bags buried deep in the back of the freezer. That's right. I had ordered the exact same thing one year ago and totally forgot about it. The horror was too much to bear. Those crabs that I had buried alive and abandoned came back to haunt me. I'm so sorry, Krabbies. Wait, Wait isn't, isn't that, that just a story, story about, about being, being forgetful? forgetful? So I took those delicious fresh crabs and made us a hot pot. Hooray! The, the way, way of the, the house husband. husband. So that kid's the... T Her name's Suzu. This little one's my daughter. The problem is, though, Suzu can't stand vegetables. Plus, I really suck at cooking. I don't know what to do. That kid needs her vitamins. You say it by any means necessary. Hey, Suzu, I'm Tatsu. Nice to meet you. What you doing? I wanted to cook my favorite meal. 
Here, do you want to try some? Wow, is that a hamburger patty? Chop, chop. Mmm, <laughs> now that's one mighty fine hamburger. My taste buds are tingling. You know what would make this dish complete is a little carrot garnish on the side. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, a garnish? Before that. Uh, uh, carrot? Don't you ever say that word again. Yes, ma'am. That kid's definitely no stranger to this game. Her aura is scary. I know. She'll take you down without hesitation. Outsmarting her is the only way. I'm not backing down from this fight. Hi, Suzu. It's lunchtime. I hope you're hungry. Check it out. I made you a special kid's platter. <laughs> Yummy! A hamburger patty! That's my favorite! You didn't try to sneak anything in here, did you? No, of course not. That hamburger's 100% pure beef. Nothing else mixed in. What's this onion doing in there, then? Huh? How did she notice that? I mashed it up into baby food! Right here is... I can smell it. Sure, it's been boiled and ground into a paste, but you hid carrots in there. This kid sense a smell. It's like a sniffer dog's. There's green pepper in this, spinach in that. What? No way! You didn't think I'd notice? I'm done for. This is the end. So what do you have to say for yourself? This! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a kind-hearted farmer who raised this little carrot with love and compassion. But for some strange reason, children were always very mean to him. All he ever wanted was for them to like him. The little carrot became very upset. So this is what he said to me. Aww. Children really love curry. Would you please mix me into some curry, sir? Then I'm sure everyone will happily eat me. After all the sadness and pain he suffered, I finally saw a faint smile on his face. Poor little carrot. I'll eat it. Then that poor little carrot was shredded to a pulp in the blender. It drowned slowly in the depths of a boiling pot of curry. Whoa, dude. That last bit was too much. The way of the house, husband! <sighs> Yo, landlord. It's a war out here with these weeds, huh? Oh, hey, Tatsu. Why don't you let me help? My crew will take care of this in no time. Leave it to me! I left that turf over there for you! All right, let the battle begin! Ah! What happened? These bastard weeds! They pulled out weapons with spice on them from out of nowhere! You stupid idiots! What were you thinking going into battle unprepared? You can't just dive it empty-handed! You gotta make sure you're well-armed! Let's go kick their ass! <laughs> Those young whippersnappers. Yeah! <laughs> okay, I finished off these guys for you. What's next? Mm, look closely. You're not done. The roots are still there. Oh. They'll keep coming back if you don't slaughter them. Uh. The only way to ensure their death is to pull them by the roots. Vinegar and detergent combined together. This shit I made will finish them off properly. What? You sure we can use vinegar? Vinegar's high acidity works well against weeds. This concoction's incredibly easy to make and harmless to kids and pets. <laughs> ah! Eat shit! I knew you could do it! That was awesome! <clears throat> now it kind of stinks out here. You do? Oh, what stinks? Yikes. Hey, why don't you both take a little break? Thank you very much, sir. Sweet! I need some refreshing vinegar juice for you. Vinegar? Oh, apple cider vinegar juice. Hits the spot. <laughs> Taking two tablespoons a day helps antioxidants lower blood sugar levels. It's good for skin, weight loss, and helps prevent osteoporosis. But be careful not to drink too much of it, because it'll mess up your stomach and throat. It'll also erode tooth enamel, so you'd be a lot more vulnerable to decay and cavities. Gross. Can I just give this to the weeds? My rhino beetle's stronger than your stag beetle! No, uh my stag beetle's way tougher than your rhino beetle. Will you two calm down and stop fighting? Well, what do you think, Tatsu? Listen, you never want to cross the rhino beetle. It's the godfather of the insect world. <laughs> the insect's godfather, huh? I wouldn't underestimate the stag if I were you. I bet you've never been caught between a stag beetle's claws. It'll slice your finger clear off your head. That's an exaggeration. Wanna pick a fight with the beetle boss, huh? You have no idea what the stag can do, so just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Rhino beetle's so big it'll crush your weakling like an ant. Let's see how you like it when you get your fingers snipped off. That's you really don't have to do this. There's no way I can let that meathead get away with what he said. Don't worry, I'll bring you his head on a stick. No, I'm good. It's time, time for Bud Wars. What's wrong with you? Whoa, look at this big guy. Pretty cool, huh?
Hey there, big contender. How about we show those pathetic weaklings who's boss? I boil down some rice liquor and then mix it with brown sugar. It'll drive them wild. But he has treats. Are you ready for some intense training? No pain, no gain. Have an early celebratory crepe for our big win. Sorry, but I really don't want to spoil my dinner. Let's grab the crown with our stag beetle, you and me, Sonny. Why are you following me home? Hello there, ma'am. Taki and I are overthrowing the tyrants trying to take over the woods. Right. Overthrow the tyrants taking over the woods. Uh, who is this? You got some nerve picking a fight with the rhino beetle. You're nothing but all talk, smartass. <laughs> I'll rip you a new asshole, trickwad! You're never gonna walk straight again, dickhead! How do they have so much energy? Good luck, Stag Beetle. Okay, ready? Fight! Whoa! Come on, smash that loser's face in! Send this weakling back to the slammer! Crazy people out today. Oh, wait, check it out! The stag's on top! Bro, now's your chance! Magnum inside grip arm throw! Ah! Hit so close! Go! Bigger tent clip guillotine! Uh. Oh. <laughs> The way of the house husband. It's just very unfortunate that people don't shop at places like ours anymore. It's the same thing with us. Seriously? Your blades are top notch. Why wouldn't they shop here? Everything you would ever want is always on sale at the mall. Time to pack it in. Hey, Tatsu! What in the world are you doing? I may not look it, but I've actually got a lot of street selling experience under my belt. Everyone gather out here! If you're not in a rush with your errand, then you're gonna want to stop over here and check this out! He's completely lost his mind. What's that? Is it a product demo? Feast your eyes on these one-of-a-kind, all-purpose knives! Handcrafted right here! You'll never need to buy another set in your entire life! This durable steel is on a whole other level! It looks like an ordinary knife with a sharp tip and a blunt base. But a slice through bamboo in one cut! It'll never bend and never warp! That's right, not even this cutting board will plug this blade. He's nuts. You're ready to witness some slicing and dicing like you've never seen before. Here's this pumpkin. Trim that tomato into tears. Apple pie, apple cake, these knives will smooth off that skin easily. Fantastic for fully filleting the finest fish. Punishment, protection, chops up chicken with the skin still on. It'll slice through anything. Something seems out of place there. I'd like to buy one, please. If fashion's your passion, then step right up. Don't allow the law to dictate your dress code. Probably wear that wardrobe with confidence and pride. What an easy way to dodge the cops? Check this out. Wear this bowling cure sweater. Now, only 6,000 yen. Come on. How about it? Do I hear 5,000 yen for this sweater? Get one for every member of your family, ladies and gentlemen. Feel comfy casual at home while you unwind. Be the life of the party. Want to be a hero of justice? Even the Yakuza will step aside. Me. But isn't that last season smart? <clears throat> What's going on? Who's that? Listen, punk, I ain't selling you this shit just for the money. Now give me a break. I'll lower it to 4,000 yen. 4,000, anyone? For real? 4,000 yen? You must be new to haggling, my friend. Fine, how about this? I'll throw in another one, you sneaky, thieving shark. I'll take it. Whoa! You've made a very wise choice, good sir. <laughs> Allow me to enlighten you. A limited edition of these particular pieces of merchandise that individually feature the franchise's additional characters were produced so technically they could be considered extremely rare. Due to their noticeable popularity, further production runs followed. However, there were incidental differences in the quality of the product. Appreciate your business. <sighs> Actually got out early for once. No way! Is that a Midnight Police sweater? He wears it with such presence. Right, good kitty. Gina, forgive me. You're not gonna like this, but today's the day. We gotta take your balls away. No. I'm sorry. No. The procedure went well. Here are the two prescriptions for him. Thanks. Hey, you did good, kid. 